Hey guys, I just wanted to quickly remind you guys that this is the last episode of The Suckening that is going up publicly. If you haven't been keeping up with us, we are going on a little bit of a public hiatus for uh, Riptide. So there won't be any uploads on the main channel for a bit while we're working on a new campaign to start uploading in the place of Riptide. But I promise it'll be worth it. Uh, I mean, the hiatus itself will be worth it because Riptide's going to come back and Grizzly will actually have had time to think about stuff and write but in the meantime, if you want more Just Roll the Content while we aren't uploading publicly, uh, there's always the Patreon where you can get all of our campaigns, Prime Defenders, the rest of the Suckening, Apotheosis, Blood in the Bayou, some one-shots, all of that. I mean, there's probably like 125 episodes on there, so I think it's well worth the money to go check it out. So if you haven't checked it out, I'd highly recommend it. And if you're really interested in the Suckening, then, you know, uh, there's that. Anyway, here's here's the episode. I hope you enjoy it. Welcome back, everyone, to the Sockening! Slurp, please. Slurp, please. Slurp, please. Slurp, please. Yes. Welcome, everyone. Everyone has socked. Everyone has slurped. Everyone has garped. Uh, Another yeah. recording in the slum pound. How are we can all you, feeling today? Can you today? actually update us what the, uh, the sleeter boards are looking like? Oh, the sleeter boards? Yeah. Number slun is. I actually think you've got the most points right now, Bisley. Because the last time, didn't you get a couple I points? I did get a couple of did points. Did you get a couple yes. of points? Did you? I think you lost points, Conde. I lost points once, but I gained them a few times too. When? Cite them all right now, or, or they yeah, go away forever. Yeah, so the first episode. Uh, I lost points for uh, for questioning our our slime slimy lords. You shouldn't that's have done that. His, that's not his title. What's his title? Say it. What's my line. title? Say it. <laughs> Say it. Say it. Um. Say it. Uh. Say it. I just, uh. You. Don't <laughs> never, never lost points. You lose one point. Oh, fuck no. off. No. 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 Fuck off. Go. Go suck yourself. That what, bro? <laughs> <laughs> what, should we? Bro? If everyone's ready for a little recap, I can do a little recap. Oh, I don't think I'm ready for a little recap. Sorry. That's a point for that voice. Really? Yeah, I like that voice. Does anyone else? Dude, you're so biased. <laughs> Minus one point. <laughs> Last. <laughs> yeah, you know what? Either you have it or you don't. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, well, I, I, like I don't have it or you don't. I don't really like that. What is that? I don't really you like that. Don't have it or you don't. That's mine. That's mine. Dude, what I'm going to start the recording, and I'm going to delete all of it. Last time we sucked, Arthur and Amazel had lost Shiloh and headed back to the B&B to rest. Inside, Arthur found a note from a friend, Magnus Fox, and a burner phone with which to call him. Arthur called Magnus and after a bit of catching up, found that the Grim Slayers were planning to attack Club Crepuscule the next night. After the two had a mostly successful hunt, they went on a shopping montage where Arthur barely managed to convince Amazel not to wear the hardest SpongeBob core hot topic fit of all time <laughs> before heading to Club Crepuscule. Meanwhile, Deacon made Shiloh the honorary deputy of Los Angeles, and they went for a night on the town that culminated in Shiloh accidentally eating a tremendous amount of garlic dogs and almost <laughs> dying. <laughs> The two groups reconvened at Elysium, where they met a colorful cast of vampires, including Renwick the Ravenous, the Keeper of Elysium, and Edward Twilight, one of the five Primogen. You guys loved him so much. Shiloh drew a ton of attention as the most important figure at the party. Arthur sat at the bar and had an awful man to man with Edward, and a measles stole the microphone and announced that he was the secret second vampire prince and Shiloh's twin brother. Shiloh was also socially pressured into drinking from a drugged human body by Edward, and as Arthur tried to usher him to the exit, you were met with a locked door and the beginning of the Grim Slayer raid. The Grim Slayers lit the building on fire and sent Daybringer Solomon down to obliterate the Mayor Thorn, the mayor of Los Angeles. After a frenzied chaos, Arthur was able to springboard off of shadows through the skylight where Magnus held the Grim Slayers back from firing. Shiloh and Grefgor dived into the sewers to escape while a measle stayed back to prove his mettle. He did a very respectable one point of damage to Solomon, then died. <laughs> Shiloh and Arthur were able to reconvene just in time to see Club Crepuscule exploding 
into an inferno behind you with some vampires still inside, including Arthur's old flame, Mary Davis. And that's where we are now. Uh, she could still be, like, alive. Maybe she made it. So, Shiloh... If she died, Edward should be dead. <laughs> 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 Wouldn't that be fair? You guys... <laughs> he looked like at me. You guys are there out on the street watching this fire kind of pollute the night sky with this light in the distance. As you're out of the chaos now, what do you do? Shiloh would be standing there just completely still watching the burning. Say where we are again, please. Oh, shit. We're on the street we? outside watching it burn. Yeah, you guys, you guys just got out of the sewers. Yeah. yeah, you guys went a little ways down the sewer. Okay. A couple streets over or something. Arthur doesn't miss a beat before he begins to head in a direction now. Would I have any chance of being able to get closer to get to our car again? Or is that off limits because of oh, its proximity? Oh, fuck. Where did you park? You parked across the street? I think we... I think I don't remember what we said, but it was probably... You, you know, Amizel probably would have parked in the gutter. Yeah. Not, the, like, the actual gutter, but, like, the... The, the gutter. Yeah, really bad I mean, bar. I mean, you could try to... Um, honestly, I'm going to say, even as you even as you approach it, you notice pretty much immediately that the street is basically cop cars and police tape. So there's not really a safe way back, no. Okay. I'm going to start looking around the sidewalks for a little telephone booth, a little telephone pole. But before I do that... I am just sort of walking in a soccer mom speed <laughs> away from Shiloh okay. in this direction, but I am going to look around and see if I both either smell any familiar vampires from the party or see any sort of running away entered in the shadows of the of the alleyways of the street. I'm just going to keep an eye out for survivors that are in this area as well. Sounds good. What was that part about a telephone booth? Do you want to do that yet, or is that I'm going to do this first. I'm looking okay. for them first. And then, okay, 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 okay. But I'm cool. just going to go on my way for a telephone booth. All right. So here's what I will say. If you're looking from here, you're in a pretty specific direction, a little ways away. It's going to be more difficult. But if you get closer, it's going to be riskier and easier. I'll get in a better position, actually. I could probably climb the side of a building. That'll, fire that'll work so much better. Yeah, I love that. Okay, go ahead and roll me uh, perception plus awareness. Two successes. Strolling away down an alley as he drops the head of a Grim Slayer, like with the visor on, looking relatively unscathed as Edward Twilight. Fuck my life. Fuck, Fuck my life. <laughs> I will say, if you let him go, I'll let you roll again. Okay, just can I have a minute to think here? Yep. Nothing, no better feeling than saying you have to let him go to roll again. <laughs> you are a, a fiend. Okay, okay, man, if only. If only you were alive, we could split up. Fuck. Um, I'm gonna let him go. I'll let him go and roll again. Ah. All right. I have him. Sounds in good. My, I'm. I'm gonna ghost him. We'll have a chance. We'll have another. You chance. watch him. Yep. You watch him sort of walk into a nearby sort of alley, and he's gone. Go ahead and give me another roll here to look for someone. It's valuable that we know he's alive. I'll just say that. You know, he's alive. I'm going to say the difficulty on this roll has not has not increased. It's going to be the same roll. One thing you would also see is Shiloh on the ground, like, waving his arms up at you and trying to get your attention. Me and my slow, my slow. I, I know I know Shiloh is doing that. Yes. Okay. He's, he just, you just see Arthur is just kind of looking around intently, um, focused on the surroundings, but not too focused on you at the moment. Fucking another t- another two successes. Another two successes? Of my, wait, wait. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're good. You see at first a blur going down like a quieter street that quickly like kind of shimmers and it looks like it almost trips and someone falls to the ground, clearly bloodied and injured. And you can tell you, you see the back of a bloodstained cowboy hat. Another hard decision. He looks like he's hurt. He looks like he's very what hurt. That is Deacon. That is my boy right there. He took me to get hot dogs. I, um, get down from this roof. I, when I walk past Shiloh, I just say, stay here. Wait, where are you going? Um, and then I go and head to wherever he is crawling. Okay, what are Come you doing? Come back! What are you doing, Shiloh? I'm following him. Okay. It's totally fine. Freaking freak. Cool. <laughs> you um, call me a freak? <laughs> stay here. Yeah, you guys turn the corner. Uh, you see the police tapes in the distance, so it looks like you've, you're away from that a little. And you see it's just kind of with the trail of blood behind him. It looks like he's, like, whistling for something for a second. Uh, and then he clocks you. Well, well, <coughs> well, what have we got here? I don't kneel down or anything. I just assess his condition. Deacon. Arthur. Are you not able to heal yourself? 
Use it all up. Don't suppose you got any to spare. I could consider the usual risk with drinking my blood. I don't really care, man. I could stand to like you a little more, I guess. Shiloh's nearby. Mm -hmm. What's he look like? Would I have gotten there like faster? Probably with me. You yeah. guys are same time. All right. Um, does this break the masquerade in any way? Drinking the blood. I'm drinking the blood. I don't remember. No. Okay. No. Nope. Cool. No. It's like um, masquerade is if someone sees you doing this. You guys would would notice like the streets are really empty. Mm. Um. Mm. Almost like they were emptied beforehand. All right, I would probably like run up the deacon and get down. Yeah. What happened to you? Are you? Why are you so hurt? I um, I have I have void bite my wrist. Okay. To open it. Okay. I'll offer it to deacon. Okay. Cool. I don't have much. All right. They got you too. Thanks, stranger. Yep. Fire will get any of us. Um, he goes to. Oh. Uh, take a drink, real quick. Well, we can probably go and arrest them, right? Hold up my little badge. It's gonna be a little more from this beating, is that alright? We'll see. He takes three at first. You know, it heals a little, it takes a little more to heal aggravated. I'll pull away. Go ahead and roll me strength. <laughs> Plus brawl. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is how I die. He just sucks you dry. Three successes. He also got three successes. Do so, we roll again? I'm going to say what this means uh, is, Shiloh, you see as Arthur is trying to pull away and it looks like Deacon like leans in closer and like like grabs onto Arthur uh, and you see as he's going to take another three blood points. If you want to try and push him off, you need to roll again. I'll, I'll try to like pull Arthur away. Okay. Yeah, I see. Anymore and he'll be in trouble. Yeah, he just looks up at you and you see an anger in his eyes. <laughs> That's fine. Um, <laughs> Go ahead and roll me another. All uh, Deacon does is take and take another and brawl take. plus strength. Yeah, yeah. Can I help in yeah, any yeah. way? Yeah, give me a brawl plus strength. I, I don't really know how to resolve this, but we'll figure it out based on success. That's okay. I only get a, a D10, like a single one. <laughs> oh. Okay, awesome. You are very not strong, our brawl. Hey, right? hey, okay, so that blood, that blood, uh, when I drank it from that human, that blood drugged me. Does that mean I got any blood points from it? Uh, you only took a taste. So you, you probably wouldn't have gotten the Damn, whole Damn, I got no point. benefits at all. How many successes? I'm going to use a willpower. Okay. Fuck Automatic me. success? I'll use a willpower too, because I got nothing. <laughs> he only got two successes. You managed to wrench him off, and you see his wounds like already beginning to close, basically. Deacon, what is wrong with you? What's wrong with me? What's wrong with me is that he knew they were coming. And you see as he whips his coat back and pulls out his gun. Yeah, yo. I'd like to jump in front. Uh, okay. I need everyone to roll initiative at this point. Up first is, unfortunately, Deacon. You see as he is going to, with alarming speed, spend a blood point, and he moves back in like a flash, about halfway down the street, farther than you could get uh, unless you sprint. Pulls out his gun and is going to take uh, a shot right into your head, Arthur. I can't like block it. I was standing in front. I'm trying to like. Oh, how would we do this? Um, you are kind of short, man. Okay, here's what I'll do. Go ahead and give me, give me Dex plus Brawl. We'll see how well you can Dex jump in the way. Dex plus Brawl. Ah, uh, that is one success. Uh, he only gets one success to hit. I'll say if you're trying to get in the way, you can. Oh, all right, cool. Yes, I'm like standing in the way. Okay, all right. He takes a shot. Uh, you manage to jump in front. Uh, he goes no, and this shot uh, immediately collides in your gut. It's just gonna be. He takes six lethal damage. What the fuck? Oh my Christ. That is the X's, yeah? Yeah, that's the X's. <laughs> so this one, this can't like kill you, but it can hurt. Immediately you get shot in the side and Shiloh, the last thing you see is his hands like shaking uh, and him looking at you with just this uh, expression of horror as you fall to the ground and your eyes shut. All right. Holy fuck. Okay, um, up He's next. Down, down. Is he no, I'm crippled. Just, not yeah, crippled. Oh, you're crippled? Yeah. yeah. With six. Oh, I read it wrong. Okay. Yeah. You just you just fall to the ground uh, and you I'll are... Still probably like cry out in pain. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Oh, son, you shouldn't have done that. Oh. You don't know who you're protecting. I feel like I got stung by a very big bee. Yeah, yeah. Big 40, 44 caliber oh. magnum B. Oh. That's gonna hurt. Shiloh's like on the ground, like rolling around. That'll heal up fine, son. <laughs> up next is Arthur. What happens when you run out of blood points? You're gonna have a lot of trouble waking up the next morning. Oh. AKA, you won't wake up. 
I looked down at Shiloh. Now I'm pissed off. So immediately, like, yeah, four black inky, uh, almost like snakes. Okay. Come from. We're in an alley. Yeah, he's at like the other end of the alley now. So I can do it anywhere I can see. Awesome. His left is right behind him and in front of him. <laughs> they just come up. Fucking sick. And they even start to like, almost like the whispers of the dam just sort of hiss right next to him. Well, you got some surprises after all, kid. <sighs> I don't say anything. Just Guys, looking at, uh... Please stop fighting! Looking at the bleeding out Shiloh. All right, up next is Shiloh. All right, I am going... I can only use one blood... Per turn, it'll let me heal one. One level of lethal, yeah. All right. Okay. Yeah. And he he looks he looks still bloodied. Yeah, he's he's beat up. Um, All right. Um, his coat is singed. Uh, his skin is charred. Um, he's got blood running down from his head. All right. I'm going to just spend one blood point. Okay. And I will heal up. Heal up just a little bit. It cool. also said I could I could heal, like. Right when I take the attack. Yeah, don't sweat. You still have your action. You still have your action if you use your blood point for that. Yeah. Okay, cool. But just mark a blood point. I have marked the blood point. And now everything is minus two, not minus five. Good gracious. I'm going to heal up that one little bit and I'm going to try and put my hand on the wall, pull myself up. I'll say, Deacon, I order you to put your weapons down. Are you using a discipline or? No. <laughs> oh, fuck. I'm sorry, son. I can't do that. He's working with the enemy. And you know that as well as I. Why are you still with him? All I know is that he protected me. Where were you? What about all my friends? How'd he protect them? What about my city? How'd he protect that, Prince? What about the queen? When she knows you left me. What about the queen when she knows I finished him? That is all I really can do. Yeah, Not I mean, a... I mean, go ahead and give me, just to see if this shakes him, go ahead and give me um, charisma plus leadership, and I'll, 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 I'll let this, I'll let this shake him if it, if you, if you roll successes right. here, I'll let it take away from his dice pool. That's two success. Two successes? Okay. In that case, I'll let that take two away from his dice pool. Out of nine dice. Holy shit. You see as he says this back to you with a vengeance, but he like definitely is visibly shaken by it. Right. Okay, up next is... Could I actually just... Because all I'm doing for my turn is really talking. Sure. Could I... Um, Arthur, please. I'm not going to survive if he shoots me again. <laughs> I'm not going to shoot you again unless you get in the way, son. <laughs> so How do I know that? Because you got in the way the first time. Well, I'll get in the way again. Why? I'm going to shoot you then. <laughs> Arthur, please. Listen, I'm going to shoot this way, and if you get in the way, it's your fault. <laughs> please just get us out of here. <sighs> no one has to die anymore. Everyone is already dead. And how many more are going to go if he This stays? is really not about you right now. Oh, I'm in it now. Flicks his coat back. You're such a wiener boy. <laughs> I gave you wieners, boy. Inappropriate. You remember those dogs? <laughs> I remember the garlic. <laughs> you ordered that. Crap, you're right about that. No, you're actually really nice to me, but you're being really weird right now. <laughs> Sorry, the emotional tension completely broke. I'm being weird right about. now? No, this is like almost out of character right now. Don't worry. <laughs> the Brethren Crest. <laughs> Arthur... Looks a little dry. <laughs> uh oh. So he kind of looks a little um, monstrous at the moment. Oh. But he says, uh, like, the shadows all around this alley are almost kind of wisping like black flame, especially around his feet. And he just tries to say something, but it's very short. He says, I told you to stay back, Prince. This is what they do. Well, you protected me, so I'm here. Just lie there, and you won't get out again. I want to stumble over if I can, and like, just hold my ground in front of him. Fuck. <laughs> oh, son, what are you doing? If you go, I will go too. Uh, it's not my turn, I can't make him do anything, but. All right, up next, uh, initiative would go back around, but Deacon used celerity. 
What the little crap boy? Deacon's got celerity. Crappy little wiener. Best shot in the west for a reason. You see as he immediately is going to... How long are the tentacles? They are all six feet long. Okay, they're six feet. He's almost... Um, it's like blocking him almost. Yeah, you see it's, it's, it's blocking him on all sides. He immediately is going to just try and burst forward as he gets closer to you again. Uh, he's going to take two more shots at you. Three. Okay. He rolled real shit. He only gets one. You see as he, he takes another shot at your head, curves it around Shiloh, but it just like, how do you just, I guess you just fucking tank it. Uh, it just like ricochets off your head, knocks your head back as you just look down at him. Uh, again, takes a shot at you. Um, would ordinarily just collide in your head. You get out of the way just in time. Uh, just skids by you. I want to keep tanking these bullets like Superman. Okay, yeah. He, it, you just, it just fucking bounces off you. You see this one just like flattens against your head. It just falls to Could the I ground. Could I get a free intimidation check? Bro, what the fuck? Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm going to say no, unfortunately. <laughs> Up next, top of the round. Is Deacon? <laughs> you little prick. He sees his bullets just like ping off of you like nothing. Looks down at his wound. You see as it looks like maybe he's going to heal, which you can do in combat if you guys want to, because he just did as well. Oh. It looks like he's going to heal, but instead you see as his breathing starts to get heavier and heavier, and it's almost like this red mist is coming out of his mouth. Uh, and you see as he tips down this hat as these sort of this this fog of breath is coming out from both sides um, and his eyes just like illuminate this shimmering yellow and you can tell that Deacon is going into a frenzy as he draws this gun one more time. I should have never let you come into my city. He's ignoring wound penalties now because he's frenzied. Oh. Gonna go for another shot on Arthur, this time not in the head, just in the body. He's just trying to hit you and now at this point. Uh, you do get hit by this one, but since he's not aiming for your head, it's just bashing damage. You have it, so you only take one bashing damage as you feel this collide uh, with your rib cage. It doesn't pierce the flesh. You're too fucking hardy for that, but you think it cracks and breaks a rib as he pops you there. Marked it. And you see as, yeah, it looks like whatever thoughts he was having, I've left his head. <laughs> Up next is Arthur. Just gonna tackle them within six feet of their range, honestly. Okay. Strengthless um, brawl? Strength, strengthless brawl. Five successes. Ooh, wow. Nice. Man. He only gets one, which makes it four. I'm gonna say with this, you go barreling towards him, uh, grab him like fucking Kratos, and just start <laughs> running down the alleyway but before slamming him to the ground. I'm gonna say you can just get to the edge of the reach of these tentacles. Uh, I'm gonna say two of these tentacles can get to him. Okay, two of them go for him. And he's gonna take, how many successes did you get again? Five. Five? Nice. Uh, he takes two bashing damage. <laughs> You actually slam him into the ground and he stops moving. Are you for real? <laughs> he drinks so much of my blood. No, uh, he was all fucking aggravated. Uh, yeah, so okay, yeah, no, you're right. He will use a blood point to heal. So he stops moving for a second. You see as the blood kind of soaks into him a little bit. Is that reflexive? Yeah. Heal? Okay. Yeah. I'm not done. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And, and then, these, these shadows descend upon him. Two, two snakes. <laughs> two snakes. And his boots. They're coming for Two him. snakes. Not the rattlers. Not the rattlers. I won't go back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Um, I don't want another snake in my boot. He manages to just barely roll out of the way. You see as he is, um, actually, wait, 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 wait. He's pinned, right? Yeah, he's, like, on the ground. Uh, you see he rolls out of the way, but, like, you know that basically next turn he has to spend it getting back up to his feet. Uh, you slammed him down pretty hard. So... He's looking bloodied, barely rolls out of the way of these. He's just looking at you with his hatred, still in this frenzy. Shiloh. All right. Um, the, the frenzied, frenzied vampire cannot be reasoned with. Man, that's very hungry. <laughs> Should I roll? He's just pissed. Kind yeah. of like frenzied or anything like that. Is there anything I would need to roll here? You're not at risk of frenzy. Just wondering. Just wondering. Um, yeah. Okay. He heard, like, Ar he heard Arthur and then all his friends died. <laughs> That's why he frenzied. He jumped very many, con well, not very many, con he didn't think it through. He's already, he's just mad. No, yeah. He maybe could have thought it through, but if he, yeah, he felt the... All right. The we'll see how like, it goes. Yeah. I'd like to look around this alley. Is there okay. anything sharp, like a weapon, like a like a sword? Oh, like a sword. <laughs> well, that's what Shiloh knows, you know, sword. There's a sword. not a sword. Like a plank of wood that but is like broken off. There's absolutely a stake. There's 
<laughs> Probably just like a piece of wood that um, from explosion. Yeah, I would I would say that you could just grab a. They shot I would a say lot you could just. Around also. I would say you could fucking grab like a piece of wood or like a like a piece of metal from like a nearby dumpster. Yeah. All right. Up um, to you. Since they was this like near the the place where they were shooting all the stakes? No. Oh crap. No, you guys are not close to that. All right. right. I'd like to like. But you could, up you, but you could find a plank of wood to use a as piece a of like splintered yeah. plywood. Yeah. Or not plywood, like okay. a two by four. Yeah. And uh, can I, on the same turn, run up and try to stab him? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be hard, just so you know. That's all right. Um, he's on the ground though. He's on the ground. He just like kind of swats you out of the way as the stake goes crashing into the uh, cement, fracturing. Definitely uh, this, like this stumbling around. Then. Yeah, like, you absolutely are. Flung um, to the ground. Up next is Deacon. He's got to use his turn to stand up. You see as blood is coursing through him that he is going to... You see as he tenses up to move again. He can't yet. You see as his wounds slightly close up even more. Arthur, He's got to be There's got to be out. another way out of this. That's all he can do. Arthur, you're up next. He's in range of two of your tentacles right now. He's not in range of the other two? I mean, they were all like... <laughs> What's another tackle? If you, if you tackled him again, he would be. What's another tackle? Am I something right? else that I think I'd rather do. Okay. Yeah, go for it. He's still in range of two, right? He's still in range of two. That might be enough. What I'm going to do here. Crappy. <laughs> Sorry. He's He shot the sheriff. No, yeah, he shot the deputy. <laughs> the sheriff shot the deputy. Yeah, the sheriff shot the deputy. I'm not going to even address him unless I see that he's not frenzied for any still, Yeah, he's still seconds. frenzied. So there's like no, I, I know that there's no point talking to him at the moment. So, here's what I'm going to do. Okay. I'm going to do Shroud of Night. My tentacles are going to okay. try to restrain him. Okay. Okay? Okay. So, that's the plan. Shroud of Night, Manipulation plus Occult, difficulty 7. Unfortunately, again, it's just able to step out of the way of this next one. Shiloh. Shiloh will kind of, like, stumble up to his feet and look at both of them. Please, I... Why does anyone have to die still? After everyone has already died. Prince. Grell with a twang. <laughs> Prince. As loudly as I can say it. You're never gonna reason with a monster. You killed him. You killed them all. You should know that. He's not the monster. We're all monsters. Right now, he's frenzied. If you want to live, you should run. I'm gonna eat you. <laughs> 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 um, you see that that is directed towards Arthur, though. Seems like Arthur is the sub, is the is the where where his eyes are locked on right now. And it looks like Arthur will not stop until he's dead. And that's up to what I guess that's up to Arthur. I'm asking you. Yeah, it kind of looks like Arthur is going to. He he won't run because he'll get chased because he's frenzied. So he has to stand here and and fight it until he's no longer frenzied. Or until he wins. So one of those. Yeah. So dominate entirely does not work. Not gonna work on him. No, he's older than you and he's frenzied. Um, you can still try social rolls that they're gonna be at a minus two. I'll try one more time. Okay. I'll stop looking at Arthur. What do you say? Deacon, Deacon, your friends are already dead. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to die too. This should I hate him. <laughs> this should make him more mad. Your friends are already <laughs> dead. <laughs> um, it's that's fair. It's something like a okay. Give me manipulation plus subterfuge. Where well, I guess it's, it's kind of intimidation, isn't it? I'm not trying to intimidate. Him. What are you trying to do? I'm trying to convince him that there's already been enough death, and that he doesn't ha have. We don't have to kill each other. Friends are already dead. All right. Your friends uh, are already dead. You don't have to die too. That yeah. was the ending of that. That no, wasn't I, just trying to throw it in his face that his fucking friends are dead. No, I got you. I mean, I would say that this is actually charisma plus expression. If you're just trying to plea with him, basically. Five and a four. That's literally not shit. Fuck this world. Uh, he 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 did botch the roll. Oh. Oh <laughs> shit. That's bad. So that is bad. You got no successes, but he botched. So he, he's you're like. Me. <laughs> Son, is that supposed to make me feel fucking better? Uh, and you see, like, it, he almost comes to the surface, uh, <laughs> like, for that. <laughs> just to say that. <laughs> just to say that. So now he's, you can tell that he's kind of, he's he's on the surface now. You got through to him in some capacity. All I'm trying to say is there's 
There's been enough bloodshed. Why more, Deacon? You're the sheriff. You're a hero. I'm not a hero, son. I failed. There's still time to succeed. <laughs> Looks back at the fucking bird. Huge burning inferno. How do you reckon that? We figure out how to make sure it doesn't happen again. <laughs> I got an idea. <laughs> <laughs> looks at Arthur. Um, Without gonna, killing anyone else. I'm going to say at this point, unless you guys want to continue the fight, you guys are pretty clearly at kind of a standstill here, just based on the rounds so far. Unless you want to keep fighting him, uh, it can it can essentially end here and turn into a, a, a social encounter. I want him restrained before I talk to him. Okay. In that case... He said he's ruling... He's rolling... Oh, uh, Fuck. He looks like he's having a harder time dodging. He has the more times you hit him in a turn, the harder a time he has to dodge. And now that his frenzy has dropped, he starts. He looks like he's reacting to his um, wounds more. Yeah. I don't think it's a standstill. Okay. I think he's on, he's he's, uh, he's he's losing. Okay. Um, but I can't say something on my turn. I'm comes. pleading with both of you assholes, <laughs> not just him. What do you say, Arthur? <laughs> to what? To to his basically request to stop. He has his gun still out. Is looking between you and the shadow tentacles. I bat my little eyelashes. I won't, I won't drop them at all. Okay. Okay. But I will say, if I have a chance to speak, why am I not surprised that the one in power of this town has literally no self control? What do you think is more valuable to the queen? A sheriff that attacks at first sight, or someone in the bed with the enemy? Have you never been at war? Spies are the most valuable. I warned the Primogen. It was his duty to warn everyone else. Taking your anger out on me is a child's way of acting. Charisma plus expression. I agree with what he said. I agree with that. Yeah, I don't have very much for any of those, honestly, so... <laughs> I just saw you toss one single rock. <clears throat> I got one success. When you compare it to being in bed with the enemy, when you compare it to that... His, like, narrowed gaze kind of, like, softens, like, a little. Almost as if what you said earlier was right. He made a lot of assumptions. And it softens a little. He doesn't put his gun away yet. So what are you trying to say? I'm trying to say... The Queen would be very disappointed if you botched this opportunity to be this close to the ones hunting all the vampires. So you're saying you'll help now? I came here for one simple thing. To find someone and get answers from them. What the Grim Slayers do, I have no control over. But I did bring the knowledge to that club. Put myself in danger just to save that prince. And you kill me. You'll be the one making the mistake. I want to like you, Arthur. But wherever you go, trouble follows. I'm fucking away. <laughs> <laughs> well, perhaps we can stop the trouble for right now. For the prince, I'll put my gun down if you drop whatever the fuck those noodles are. The snakes. I don't like them, and I don't like that they're doing that. They're very scary. I've told them a couple of times. You're right, Shallow. We've already lost enough. Okay, so... Unless you try me, and then I will... Please. I'm, I'm going to go for it. <laughs> this pissing contest is... really stupid. Yeah, especially because of how hard I can piss. I... No other reason. That depends, Deacon. If this information were to ever leave your lips... All of my work for the last 130 years would be for nothing. And what are you working towards exactly? Peace. Okay. I just want peace, Deacon. Give me one last charisma plus, I will say, expression or empathy roll. I can do empathy. Okay, do empathy. Two successes. Shiloh, can you also roll charisma plus empathy? Get one success. All right, that brings it up to three. Um, 
I'm going to say with a three. He says, All right. I believe you. And he puts his gun away first. Oh, thank God. I killed him. <laughs> I strangled <laughs> Oh, you motherfucker. Shit, I believe you. No. Gets dragged out of hell. Uh, dies forever. Goodbye. No. <laughs> I mean, you can. You could if I would I would if you tried it would work. We're not in combat. Can I use blood points to heal myself? Yeah, absolutely, man. All right, cool. Um, what time is it now? Oh fuck! I mean, how long does that take us? Um, yeah, the light is starting to like the sky is starting to change color for sure. Yeah, okay. I dropped the drop the tentacles. All right. We don't really have time to kill him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, sorry. Uh, uh, sorry. What was that last part? <laughs> um, we don't have much time, and I can't. Bye, bye, sneakies. I can't promise. After what happened tonight, I don't know when I'll see you again. What'd you even come here looking for? Sorry. <clears throat> Completely out of blood. <clears throat> so I told him to speak. All right, you motherfucker. Offers you his arm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. Uh, okay, I take this it. This is just like. This is like weird. No. <laughs> <laughs> We're in love. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is literally. Okay. Uh, anyways. Whatever, you cutie. But shit. <laughs> <laughs> Still better than Twilight. Um, better than Twilight. Um. Uh, let's just say on a scale of um, what one to ten of it do. <laughs> so, how much blood do you want to take from him? I think if I if I took two, he'd be dead tomorrow. If he took two, he'd have no blood. <laughs> um, <laughs> he'd go. <laughs> would Shiloh offer? I have three. Uh, we are low blood vampires. He's also like, you would look over at Shiloh and he's like fallen to the ground and he's like just looking up, wheezing. <laughs> Oh my god! Well, Sorry, okay, little take, prince. I'll just, I'll just, I'll just uh, on a, uh, what do you mean? Can I roll for it? Because I wouldn't know that he only has two. He just said on a scale of one to ten, I'm rolling it at two right now. Oh, he said it like okay. Yeah. I, I'll take, I'll take one just so I can wake up. Tomorrow. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Yep, you don't take one. We'll be fucking hungry. All right, they well, can. The sun sets again. Why do bullets hurt so bad? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> he just looks up fast. Oh, uh, yeah, that probably makes sense. Where is Grefgor? I'll look around. Where was Grefgor? <laughs> Grefgor? Grefgor? Um, you Where see, is that he little finally, rascal? He finally finishes climbing to the top of a nearby, like, um, fire escape and says, from the top rope, my prince, immediately, like, dies. <laughs> oh, goes for <laughs> Oh my god. Goes for Deacon. Oh my god. Uh, if Grefgor accidentally kills him, that will be the way. Uh, I had Grefgor roll. Grefgor had three successes. Um, Grefgor's gonna roll damage. <laughs> Please let that oh happen. Oh my fucking god, dude. Is he gonna fucking die? <laughs> Grefgor just rolled six successes on damage. Oh my god. Deacon's, Deacon's gonna try and soak. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what? Um, oh no. Deacon, Deacon uh, looks at you with kindness in his eyes and immediately, uh, with the force of a single um, Queen's Guard, uh, gets elbow dropped uh, into the cement where his head cracks against it and he no longer moves. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh shit! I'm gonna throw up! I'm gonna throw up! I'm Look, my prince, I exploded his head with my mind. I just stand there staring at him. <laughs> Holy shit! Holy fucking shit! He just gets up, puts his fucking hands in the air. Vegan? Uh, I'm gonna. Oh, I say. <sighs> What a pain. <laughs> Deacon. Um, at this point, the sun is rising as you see, start to see the first faint cracks of dawn. Would, what I, know do you guys that, would I know that he's dead dead or does he have a chance? Um, he's not dead dead. You would know that to kill a vampire, you would have to like decapitate them or light them on fire if or some shit. If he got left in the sun, he's dead. He's dead if you leave him in the sun, yeah. Fuck me, dude. Yeah. Well. What a pain, literally. Is he dead? He seems, he honestly seems like. Yes, my prince. He seems like a <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Uh, I'm gonna. Gone forever, my prince. Uh, I'm, I'm going to. No one survives Grefgor's elbow. I'll pick him up. 
and we will fuck do I fuck, shit I don't even know where good we idea hide the body my prince um <laughs> but of course we were just getting along I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna start picking up Deacon and putting him on my shoulders already already mid jump my prince at this point as well I will take off the no that's uniform, all right the situation the is very hard good. to and leave it all in the alleyway okay. that's funny you approached him in the uniform too. <laughs> I actually thought about taking it off and then I forgot because I have fucking I have problems yeah that with my brain. that probably that probably didn't help <laughs> no, the, the thing is is like I, I when I was looking on the roof I was like okay I gotta remember to take off this uniform before I go up to someone and I didn't do it that's so so, <laughs> so you did just walk whoa there buddy all your friends are dead <laughs> the fucking uniform yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's it worked okay. out. It worked out. It's okay. Arthur is a bit of a fucking idiot. Uh, what um, are you guys doing? <laughs> Limited time. Um, uh, I just want to look for a nearest hotel, Mo like okay. a s a specifically like one of those motels that how are, are, all the rooms are accessible from the outside. Yep. Then I'm gonna try and listen for an, uh, a room that is silent. Oh, nice. Yeah. Okay. I can find that. Okay. Go ahead and roll me perception plus alertness. Three, four, five, six, six. You find an unlocked, completely empty, like, also cleaned room with a key card on the bed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is someone's reservation. <laughs> yep. Um, yeah. I'll be. I'll be honest. It's probably right next to the gutter. No, we can't go back to that building. It's on fire. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's uh, what yeah, you get. We we head in there. I make sure all the I like hang sheets in front of the blinds if they're not blackout curtains already. Don't know what kind of hotel it is. You know what I mean? They're blackout curtains. Oh. Yeah, I'm lucky. Wow. Wow, for the first time in my life. Uh, and uh, I just, yep, you guys uh, all go to the sex hotel. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's why I said it's I'll just uh, put Deacon in the bathtub since he's probably a mess. <laughs> Wait, why are you putting him in there? Put him in the bathtub. So that all of his... But that's where I'm going to sleep. But he's leaking, and it will go down the drain. Well, then where can I... Okay. Just sleep in a bed, or under it, or in the closet all like right, I do. Right, he told me about the beds. I run over to the bed and yeah. I try and lay on it. I wait to wait to sink in. Okay, this one, you just feel these like hard metal pricks into your back. I basically. get up and I run. <laughs> and, I, and I hug against the wall. That is a demon in there. There are demons in that, that box. It's a springboard. They're squeaking at me. You see as the springboard gets up and starts running at you because you're still on drugs. Um, and where do you guys want to sleep for tonight? turn and I run into the wall like Roadrunner and I hit my head and I fall asleep. <laughs> okay, great. What about you, Arthur? I just open up the closet, hang upside down, get ready for the next day. Fuck yeah. All oh, right. shit, dude. That was a night. All right, everyone. Uh, go ahead and at the end of the story, you get all your willpower back Woo! and spend a blood as we are going to wake up the next night. Amizel. Yeah. You open your eyes. And you are, the last thing you saw was just fire as it burned away your eyes and then black for a bit as you were running around and still fighting. <laughs> and then uh, nothing. And then you woke up here and you're floating on your back again in this wide pool of blood. Zagreus? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's real as hell. Did uh, you say anything? Do anything? He kind of like wipes his face a little bit like just to feel a sensation or something yeah that was <sighs> cool <laughs> uh can he stand up in this pool of blood or no oh. um you go to stand up and it's like such thick water like you don't need to tread and even when you do like it, the 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 contents of it you kind of like end up floating back up to the surface so what do you do in this pool of blood for the next eight hours what do i do in this pool of blood for the next eight hours what do you do <laughs> um i don't know what are my options like swim around just do some of the blood. Yeah, just <laughs> swim in the blood. Like, yeah, do swim in the blood. Be very angry. Just be very angry in my thoughts. Yep. What do you think about? Think, it? think about like what I could have done to not <laughs> be dead. <laughs> yep. Yeah. He, he's like, oh man, what if I like, I don't know, like cut a, cut his leg off. Yeah. Or like cut his fingers <laughs> off, and then he can do those funny finger things. Um. <sighs> and you think about that for a long time, just angrily treading here. Ah, I wish I wish I killed my fucking sire. <laughs> and you think to yourself too, like, is this what death is? Is death just a giant red infinity pool? 
of self-reflection. Self-reflection forever. Can I so like at least a movie of my life or something like? No. A book that no, has there's only stats click. in it. There's, it's only the movie Click. Oh, no, you watch this Click on repeat. No, there's oh, no. Yeah, you're in hell, all right. <laughs> no, yeah, you just see. You look in the distance when you think of Click, and you just see so far in the distance, like a TV set playing Click, but you can't get to it. You can't. You try swimming to it. It doesn't get any closer, but you can always just kind of hear it when you think about it. No, he said. He said the really funny joke. He beat up those children. <laughs> click. <laughs> um, no. And eventually. You start to feel a warmth on the top of your head as like there's this faint yellow light above you. No, wait, don't take me. He's almost at the scene where he gets really fat. I think it's just really funny for some reason. Click. It's not because I'm, I'm an get, awful person. I'm gonna get really fat. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. This god is a cruel one. Nothing happens with the with, oh. with the light yet. Okay. There's just a light coming down. It looks like there's. See, it feels like there's something above you. You look up. I and, give up on click. You give up on click. <laughs> Click sinks back into the into the blood and it'll never come back again. No. And you look up as you float up on your back up at the sky. Gigantic floating yellow orbs with these black slits in them. Like like eyes? Cat eyes. Cat eyes? Yep. Like like the cat. Oh like that's cat. funny. And you see them kind of blink curiously at you. Pepper, is that you? Move around. Why are you everywhere? And then you just hear Eight. <laughs> and your eyes shoot open. Um, and you uh, crawl out of this like ashy wreckage um, towards the night sky and reach your hands and fingers out to feel the cold air as you crawl into this claustrophobic wreck. And you are covered in ash. You are completely naked. Um, and <laughs> you are in the wreckage of Club Crepuscule. Holy fuck. And uh, just up there, like, looking at you, um, just when you get up to the wreckage, uh, licking your hand, is the cat you know is Pepper. I pet her. I mean, oh I, give her, I give her a little little pet. You give her a little pet? Hey. Um, I'm yeah, naked she, right now. This yeah. is, like, much more uncomfortable. She just looks at you meow, and, and kind of, like, flicks her tail playfully. Shit, am I also in a sumptuous vampire? <laughs> 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 flicks her tail playfully. Um... And uh, it's okay. Starts to walk in a direction. I know exactly where to go. I hit that SpongeBob shirt <laughs> somewhere around here. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, you you say that, and you look down, and you see just the faintest scrap of like just SpongeBob's face no. left of the shirt. He's like no. still got the grill on, but that's no. all that's left. He picks up the ashes, and yeah. they slowly start pouring through his fingers, like in between the, the, the just webbing. Incinerates. Yeah. No. That's okay. Have a scoop bird shit out <laughs> Dear God. Um, He's a big fan of SpongeBob. Okay? It's, just, it's really funny. He connects with it. Uh, and then you hear from down below you, Hey, what are you doing up there? And there's just like a police officer like pointing up at you uh, as you're basically in like the wreckage of this building, like in, like a fucking rafter just covered in ashes. Uh, I had to run. I <laughs> like all fours run. <laughs> you just die. You just dive into the street on all fours uh, into the night. And just start just plowing like, like, off. This would be like described like a cryptid. You know, Jesus like, Christ! Like one of those shitty cryptid videos. I'll never unsee that. Um, you go sprinting off. Where are you going? Uh, good question. Um, it, night just started. The night just started. Yeah. Uh, well, I guess first things first is I'm gonna find something to cover myself up with. Okay, where do you go for that? Oh, he naked. Yeah, I, naked. Oh, you're straight I'm up naked. naked. I'm I straight up naked. naked. You're straight up naked. I have yeah. full on naked. Your clothes naked. got fucking incinerated. Yes. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I mean. Um. Surely. Uh. God. What would have? He goes across. The, is the bar open across the street? The 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 gutter. Yeah, the gutter's open. Yeah, they'd know me there. <laughs> um. Yeah, you walk to the gutter. You see a sign that says "Shirts, Shoes, No Service." <laughs> Well, I've got none of those. Okay, you walk into the fucking gutter. You see there's some demons, like, hanging out there and stuff. And uh, you actually see, coincidentally there, looks like he's on probably drink number. You don't even know why there's a lot of glass next to him is uh, is your friend, Theo. Oh, Theo. Theo, what's up, man? Go and dap him up. Oh, hey, man. How's it going? I'm just, uh, I've turned to the bottle. 
<laughs> you fucked his mic up, dude. You it fucked is, it you know, it's, it's sort of spicy in a different way, man. But, um, dude, oh, not... shit, where's your clothes, man? What happened? Uh, you got caught in a fire. Uh, burned away. <laughs> <laughs> just, just the clothes, man? Just the clothes. <laughs> Makes sense. Bartender, another round of clothes. Uh, <laughs> You see, uh, you see, you see, you see some demons come up to you and like give you some some spare, just like fucking demon attire. It's very streetwear. It's, um, it's the exact same shit I always yeah, wear, probably. Yeah. <laughs> Keep this around just in case a fire burns all my clothes off. Just hands it to you. <laughs> yeah, happens all the time. Happens all the time. You said it. So, yeah. Theo, man, I mean like alcohol. You sure, man? Um. There's yeah, like, man. I mean. Uh, <laughs> There's water. You can try water. Have you tried it? Shut up about water, man. <laughs> Don't talk to me about water. I'm just I'm just worried about you because, like, you know, things have changed, obviously. It's just you're, you're going down a, a bad route. Things have changed. <laughs> he takes another, another fucking swig of this bottle just pounds it down. <laughs> oh, <no>. <laughs> <laughs> there was someone that looked like you, man. And that's when I stopped liking it. <laughs> that's when I stopped liking soda. Every time I think about soda... The next thing I think about is him, and he looked just like you. I, I'm, worried, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fix you. Yeah, I swear to my life, I'm gonna fix you. <sighs> Only soda can fix me, man. And he took that. <laughs> oh no. Hey, man. <laughs> I mean, like, uh. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what to say to you anymore. It's like, it's like you're a different person. Okay. Yeah, it's. I've been getting that a lot. None of the guys are looking at me the same. You're probably the only one I can even call a friend anymore. Yeah. So, uh, anything I can help with? Uh, I mean, you've seen, like, a guy anywhere that looks just like me, uh, but it's not. <laughs> yeah, have you? <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, I, I just I just saw him, but, like, he might have ran away from the, the building fire across the street. Well, we gotta find him. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, I heard about that. Gas leak or something, right? Yeah, gas, more like gas, gas, intentional arson, insurance fraud kind of deal, you know? <laughs> oh, yeah, man, of course. <laughs> Happens all the time. Club Crepuscule, though, weird. Yeah, weird, never weird, weird. the type. Yeah, not the only big fire tonight, too, apparently. What? You see as he points at the TV, and the lower third is, like, famous, uh, in quotes, like, Dracula's castle. No more. What? Dracula? And you see, like, what is looks this, like, like overseas? Or is like a. Yeah, it looks like, like national news coverage. Okay. It's kind of like when the Notre Dame, like, caught on fire. Yeah, yeah. You see that it just looks like a wreck. I mean, it's just like rubble, essentially. Uh huh. Um, it's like kind of scattered around, and it says something about, like, natural gas explosion. Just stuff was left unchecked. Like, historic monument lost. In Romania? It's in Romania. Oh, crap. <laughs> I've never heard of that place before in my life. No, man, I don't been. fucking read. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, like, you know, clearly it's some kind of big deal because it's on Fox News. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, you see as it swooshes over to this man. Uh, now back to racism. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, that's a lot to unpack. Um, Jesus, change the change the channel, bartender. Jeez, Louise. I don't know what's going on there. Jeez, uh, yeah. What the fuck's up with that? Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, change the channel. Oh, family Guy. Oh, I love Family Guy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh man, Tom and Stewie W. Uh, Stewie, yeah. Stewie. I'm a, I'm a dog, Stewie. I'm a dog, Stewie. <laughs> what are you talking about? Stewie, Stewie, I'm a dog. Oh. Brian. Regular, regular Brian L here. This is Brian. this is this is this good is stuff. Brian, Brian, I'm a baby Brian. Oh, Stuart, yeah, Stuart, yeah, it's Brian. I'm a Brian, look. <laughs> <laughs> Brian, look. <laughs> what is it, Stuart? What is it, Stuart? What is what are those pills? What are Amisa, those? we gotta go. What are those pills Listen, called I that mean, make your dick bigger? Viagra, Stuart. It's Viagra. Viagra. I have taken Viagra. Stuart, you're a baby. Stuart, don't take Viagra. Stuart. My dick is bigger than I am, still, Brian. Stuart, Stuart, you're a little football baby, Stuart. I have to, I have to drag it behind me like a snake, Brian. Like a snake. So like a snake. Remember that Brian. episode when I died? <laughs> <laughs> oh, bartender, turn off the TV. If, if you die right now, Brian, you won't get to see my massive cock. <laughs> bartender turns off the TV. Dude, what the hell? <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, uh, sorry about that. I just figured, like, hey, do you have a car or something, man? Does he? Does Soda have a car? He could. It's up to you. You would know. Does Soda have a car? Would it make Soda's sense? Soda's like... I mean, maybe. He, he would, like... Just say yes. Yeah. It's good for you. you yeah. We, 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 we would have stolen one together, probably. He does not drive a Ford F-150. He does well, not. No, this right. is like a really rundown. Toyota Tundra. Corolla, yeah, oh, that he, works too. He, dri he drives like a beat-up uh, Corolla. Yeah. Corolla. Yeah, bet. Where are we going, man? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I'm just kind of looking for this guy that looks like me. All right, sounds good. Apparently, he's my brother. Puts down like the 12th bottle, looks at you. <laughs> okay, bartender, time for me to go drive. <laughs> <laughs> you got this. <laughs> I've had a long night. I could really use some time in the past. Don't just worry, man. I got you. He just falls out of the doorway. <laughs> where am I taking you? Gets in the car. I don't know. I'm just trying to think, like, where where would um, people like them stay you, after a long night in fire? Yeah, you see... Um, <laughs> what, uh, You see Pepper um, kind of, yes. like, Come again. at the end of the street looking at you, uh, kind of, like, back over uh, her shoulder. Wow. <laughs> Can I like flicks her flicks her tail playfully? Can I like roll to read what she is trying to tell me? Um, yeah, I'm, I'll say you don't have to roll to see that she's trying to get you to kind of follow. Oh, hey, it looks like it's just around the corner. Uh, what bed? Yeah, gas. <laughs> just fucking floors it. Just follow the cat. They seem they like, kind of go everywhere. Yo. Okay. Somehow he doesn't crash the car. <laughs> he's immediate, he's just like swerving you through the streets. You guys are following this cat. Um, and eventually you end up at the sex motel and just looks at you. <laughs> Where you fuck? Where you fuck? It's one uh, of those motels. I mean, Theo, we're, we're close, man. But yeah, man, I don't know what's happening, man. Ceiling, the bed is shaped like a heart. There are rose petals on the hallways. I was just following the cat, I swear, but now it's gone. Uh, let me get out. One second. Yeah. You hop out. I slammed the door. The bath uh, is big enough for two. Uh, can I like use senses? Can I like try to smell sniff sniffy? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Um, give me uh yeah, give me perception plus alertness. Three. You smell blood, and you see like a slight blood trail leading into a particular door. <laughs> wow, that that it's just there. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's like kind of hard to make out, but it's like some drops. Oh, uh, okay. I mean, the police don't really come to these buildings that often anyways. And at this point, you would definitely be awake for at least first five. Oh. <laughs> you wake up to knocking. Hello? <clears throat> Anybody in there? Uh, okay, uh, immediately I'm going to probably- I don't know if you just doesn't seem like they're in here. Frenzy, I'm so hungry. <laughs> <laughs> like. Oh yeah, you have to use uh, have, a blood point to wake up. I wake up with zero blood points and so would Deacon. So does Deacon. So these two old men open the door who still don't look old, but they're old in spirit. Uh, they the door, they're going to eat you. The bed. You better run. Vein, yeah, veins in both their eyes. What? <laughs> what? Oh. <clears throat> Arthur, what? Deacon. I mean, what? See ya. <laughs> we open the door to Love Hotel. <laughs> what are you, you guys both at the same time open it? Oh, what are you two doing here? You're like together. <laughs> Arthur, maybe that level one blood buzz is more serious than we thought. <laughs> I don't remember anything from last night. Me neither. What happened? <laughs> good. Hey, good that you don't. Who is out there? Are they trying to kill us? Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the three of you. <laughs> all right. I mean... My prince, do you need anything? <laughs> no, that will be all right. Actually, I'm getting pretty hungry. Can you press the blood button? <laughs> yes, my prince. I'll start looking right away. Uh, it just starts tearing down the wallpaper. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it's wow. still somewhere. Um, and you guys are reunited once more. Cool, 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 cool. Yeah. Um, I, do that thing I mean, I can like do. give you guys a minute. You know those Maybe. You know, like uncles or dads do like grab the back of your head and like shove you into a place. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you shove in, shut okay, the door. Do that and shut the door. <laughs> Love it. Hey, uh, no, okay. I see you guys probably have some stuff going on here. You. Yes, you. I'm like crawling under the bed. Like oh, we gotta talk about my friend Theo or Soda, man. <laughs> uh, you're talking about Theo? You know yeah. Theo? Yeah, he's like my best friend, and you've ruined him. You've ru you've ruined his life. What are you talking about? I don't know. Like you, no, you made please, him stop. not that you uh, want to kill me too. You, Everyone wants you to hear, kill me. I pull you the hear, blanket down. I you hide. hear a knocking on the door. Hey man, everything okay there? This is bad. We're gonna fucking kill him. Just saw some random guy <laughs> pull oh you into God. a hotel room. You hey, brought a human to two hungry vampires. Sure it's okay. Oh hey, Theo. Theo. Is that one Not up for now. grabs? I opened the door. I no, <laughs> no, he's, he, his blood tastes like alcohol and... <laughs> and <laughs> you open the door? Carbonation. Oh, hey man. 
Oh crap. <laughs> What's up? My name's uh Theo. Hey, listen. Hey, 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 hey. He's gonna Wait, roll close the door. I close the door. <laughs> close the door. Yeah. Real before you do, he locks eyes with Shiloh. I'm hiding under the bed. I You're hiding the under the bed. Yeah. yeah, yeah <laughs> okay. 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 Yeah. He just sees a lump back there. Um, okay. Yeah. I'm sure. Listen. I mean, we're in a we're, if you guys are hungry right now, I saw you fucking drooling. Okay. Drooling blood, probably. <laughs> there. This is a love hotel. I'm sure there's a lot of people in here that are really into that shit. Okay. Really what are you talking about? They probably left the door night. open. Love hotel. Yeah. This is where people fuck. What are they? What? Where they fuck? It's where they fuck. Why? Do you even for for. What kind of books are you reading not, to know what that not for Not for purposes of reproduction, that's I've for sure. I've read a couple of books. I got the talk. Uncle Lazarus talked about bird and bee. Okay, listen, but like that man out there, he's turned... You took him from soda to alcohol. You know how much he's <laughs> drank today and how much... How badly he drove afterwards? I can... I can probably, like, convince him not to drink alcohol no, either. No, no, just let him drink soda again. <laughs> I can't do that. It's so bad for him. No. It's like... Have this you tried isn't, this? This isn't a more... I hey, have Diesel, everything okay in there? Wait a minute. This oh is the morality God. thing, okay? At That's point, his entire life. Like he's going to Shiloh gets up and like out from under the bed and like comes over and looks at you and starts to have like a weird look on his face and he like pokes at your face and lurches back. I grab your hand. <laughs> he pulls back with all of his might. He's trying to run away <laughs> I'm, from I'm you. So, I'm just holding your hand. I'm holding no, your hand. No, I you run. I run. No, I no, run. You, no, you don't get away. I'm a boy. I do. I do run. I do run. Boy. <laughs> I do. Boy. <laughs> Boy, which one are you talking to? Get that human out of here. Listen, he needs to undo what he did to Soda first. Okay, listen, just... Arthur, you gotta get that human out of here. <laughs> Why would you? Just... Uh, listen, he Why? needs Soda. He needs, he needs soda. what? I thought you were dead. No. Why would I be dead? You were in the building, and yeah, it and exploded. It... <laughs> <laughs> that's that's fucking awesome. Oh uh, no. You're gonna turn Theo back into Soto, okay? And maybe get him to Look, stop. All right, all right. I just okay. I'll turn them into whatever you want me to. Soda, right? just, just soda, just soda. Make him just let him have a soda back, man. He's not the same person. He's so sad. Will you forget about the soda? No. What did you say in there? Something about I, soda. I walk over, open the door, he tackles and you. I look at him, he's tackled on top of me, he I say, I say, as soon as he sees you, he uh, fucking jumps, it's he's you! On, he's on top of me, I Shut, say, you love soda and you want to run away towards it right now. <laughs> <laughs> and I, and I cast, and I do thing on him, I get one fucking billion points, he goes and does it. You don't even need to roll, he dominated him so many times, he says, oh fuck, thank you, um, just runs out, gets in his car, immediately, uh, uh, hits the gas. <laughs> oh my god. As he crashes. To put it in reverse, he slams oh, no. into the motel. You see, the engine explodes. He gets out of the car, starts sprinting away. I go over to the door, I slam it shut. I look at Deegan, I look at oh, and thank God, Arthur. I say, You two, sit down. You, hey, Deacon, did you see that thing? I Will did you please? Guy? I'm trying to like talk or Jesus what? Christ. Oh, Ugh. my bad. Yeah, what's up? <laughs> I just want to get one thing straight. Uh huh. Are you really? We're really just in Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't <laughs> Let's open, open a window and let that air out. Are you really my brother? No, I would never be brothers with a sickly Victorian child. He said it. <laughs> I've been holding on to that one for five, six days now. Alright, fine, whatever. Shiloh walks away. I mean, I don't know, I just bullshitted that. This Arthur's the one who's been saying that we're related. Great. <laughs> Yes, anyone with a brain cell can say you are twins. Yeah, now that you mention it, you guys do kind of look related. He screamed it at the party last night. I did scream it at the party. That was more yeah. like a power play. You know, I, I kind of did a few of those. Uh, you see Grefgor walks up and gets on one day. <laughs> I go, you, to, I go to Grefgor, I grab him. Grefgor, <laughs> we are going to sulk in the closet. <laughs> yes, my prince, but first I must pledge allegiance to my other prince as well. He said he's not the prince. This, looks, this is nice, actually. I think I am a prince. Okay, yeah, all right. He says he is a prince, my prince. <laughs> hey, he gets on his knee. I'm yours to command, my prince. I mean, I don't know. What's, what's your story, huh? From behind the closet door. Why do you care? I don't know. I mean, I... I don't know how we could possibly be brothers when I grew up, born and raised in LA, and you are... Where, well, where are look, you from? I don't know, okay? I just... I heard someone was... Keeping, I heard that uh, my mother... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, every you, time you try, good? you just Back can't. There. You just I don't know. Just leave me alone. Okay. Oh, you know what? 
the first time you try to say it, you cough up ash. And the second time you go to say it, you stop yourself instinctively. But you find that you can talk. I don't feel any ash like coming up. Not this time. And you think maybe you can say it. Wait. I open the closet door. Okay. My mother was keeping tabs on someone. I came to find out who. I'm pretty sure it was you. And your mother was? The queen. Yeah, okay. How do you know it was me? I mean, I'm just some fucking guy from bumfuck nowhere who works in a mechanic shop. That mechanic shop was where she was keeping tabs. Oh. Perhaps that cat that, like, never ages (laughs) mysteriously. The one I told you was magical. Oh. Yeah, you know, that's funny, because I saw him in my dreams last night, and he said eight. Uh, (laughs) (laughs) What? Yeah. I mean, I don't know, I'm just telling you what I saw. It's just my dreams. I don't know, they're... (laughs) Why? They're kind of, like, strange sometimes. Why can I talk about this? I'm sure you two will be safe and learn a lot from Deacon. This is all so strange. And then I leave. Uh, hey, wait, hey, wait, hey, wait. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, yeah, you leave. I run out the door. Wait, where are okay. you going? To keep looking. For who? What are, you ta- what are you looking for? You found me. I'm right here. I thought you were coming to protect me. Deacon will be way better at that. Plus, he's already closer to the Queen than I will ever be. Well, hang on, pal. You still haven't even said who you're looking for. Is everybody outside of the room now? Uh, We're just all in the hallway? Like yeah. Like a little balcony? Okay. Yeah, I mean, it's like, it's again, like that roadside hotel. So you guys are kind of like almost on the... Just like, like parking lot? Yeah, yeah. Parking lot. Okay, I'll stop. Just give me a name. I'm sure uh, I've heard of him. Keep tabs on everyone. And over a hundred years ago, in London, her name was Anya. On your Vimlock. Uh, he kind of thinks for a second. And what, you think she'd be in L.A.? I was told that she was seen here. Huh. Can't say the name is ringing any bells, which is odd. Oh. But she, naturally red hair. If I can't tell you, I can at least tell you who can tell you. How's that sound? That what would you, be helpful, yes. What do you have of her? Just the name or anything else? Odd question. Do you have the memory? Do you remember what she looked like? Well, all right. I see it every night. It's burned into my memory. Anya must be important to you. So, there's two people I know that can maybe be of assistance here. Can't say I'm in great standing with either. And they're, they operate a little out of my jurisdiction, but they've got their ways. He looks at you. You know about the Tremere, right, son? Of course I do. Freaky warlock, witch, wizard types, not even really sure they're kindred, but... So they say. So they say. There's a coven of them here in Los Angeles, call themselves the Midnight Circle. As far as I know and what I've heard, they meet every full moon. Griffith Observatory Park. Ah. So, not sure you'll be able to go there right away. How long into the next full moon? About a week from now. Uh, About a week? So we have a week? That's good. Deacon, you said you, you keep tabs on everybody in LA, right? Yeah, I try my best. I like to be hands-on. Yeah. Well, there's there's somebody I'm looking for as well. Oh, oh shit! Everybody is looking for someone. Shoot away. Uh, you looking for anyone? The, the person who sired me. All right. Uh, short brown hair. Well, all of us are lucky enough to meet ours. Kind of shitty, ragged-looking hoodie. Yeah, got a name? Jeans. Nope. Okay, great. Got the memory? Uh, yes. Wonderful. It's burned into my brain. I. <laughs> seems to all right. Seems to be a theme. What about you, Shallow? You looking for anyone? Would these people who uh, can tell your memory be able to tell if a uh, memory in your head is real or not? I have no idea, son. But all right, just just wondering. 
But no, there, there's no. It's freaky there. when you start thinking thoughts like that. Now I'm thinking, oh shit, what's real? Uh, I mean, probably everything, right? Probably. Unless but what if, there, what if this is like a simulation? What if we're not real at what all? What if this is the playback of the false memory? Oh my god! Something else happened. That's crazy. It is very. I possible. can't do that. So I mean, it's not me. I'm not the one doing it. Yeah. Anyone powerful yeah. enough would be able to rewrite your whole life. I if think they maybe really I could do them. that if I tried real hard. I mean, they could, could you try it on me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do you just let him do it? Oh, I don't fucking. <laughs> Wait, how much of my memory is he trying to <laughs> rewrite? He'll just, like, do something as a bit. Okay, yeah, as a bit, absolutely, yeah, I'd let him do it. Because I'm right. totally, like, uh, hey, Weasel, remember t remember for ten years when you were an actual weasel? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was weird. <laughs> yeah, so, for instance, that one uh, is probably not real, but who can say anymore? What? Um, <laughs> no, that was... That <laughs> I, I remember it so vividly, just like scouring through gutters and looking I had a wife and kid, and then I became a human one day. As a weasel, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Um, <laughs> seven days, full moon. That's option one. If you're looking for something a little quicker, and from what I hear, an itsy bitsy teensy weeny more dangerous, you can always seek an audience with the unseen one. That is the scariest <laughs> name anyone has ever said. You know, this is not really a good option. <laughs> yeah, well, no one's really had a chance to ask him his name because he's unseen. I could find him. How does one even see you don't the want unseen? To find one? Him. That's uh, why he's unseen. Well, um, rumors are you just gotta look for him at this place. Not where you'd think. Um, big old building, kind of center of town. Obscura Systems, Inc. Well, those directions are a little obscura. You were also a weasel. <laughs> no, I wasn't. I'm just kidding. I just said it. I was a weasel. He was a weasel. Uh, that sounds like a weasel. Weird coincidence, man. <laughs> Weird coincidence. Unfortunately... A weasel the weasel. <laughs> um... <laughs> the measle, the weasel. Arthur, that's the funniest thing I've ever heard when you said it for some reason. It was way funnier. Can't explain why. How did he know I thought that in my head? And you're Is looking good. And you're looking real good. <sighs> Just, I, vote, I, mean, uh, have, I feel like we have some sort of un, unspoken connection. I vote we go see the unseen one. It sounds funner. Then, you know, some witches or whatever. Funner is not actually a word. I don't know if you more know. More fun. It sounds more fun. Anything. What? You two should stay with Deacon. And we should go our separate ways. All right. I know I dumped these two on you, but you can't just dump them on back because I got to clean the fuck up this city. More than these two. What happened, Deacon? I thought you wanted to be with the princess. What happened is I listened to you. And I had a long, long time to think about it after that fucking elbow griff. <laughs> Of course, should be like hiding. <laughs> of course, just yeah, just cowering. He's still in the closet. <laughs> yeah, he's cl he's climbing again. Don't fuck with trap, man. First, I thought it was a mistake last night letting you in here. Maybe you're just some sort of chaotic blessing in disguise, but I gotta set my priorities elsewhere. The city's my number one. Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna be honest. I'm not sticking with you, Deacon. I don't want to be a deputy. No, nope, that's chill. I like uh, you know. Chaos seems to kind of follow this guy, and I'm I'm really I'm a big fan. Yeah, well, fucking tell me about it. <laughs> well, Arthur, please, uh, I. Deacon, no offense, but it's cool. I shot you, and I'd like to apologize for it. Uh, she'll hear about it. <laughs> <laughs> Arthur, I mean, Deacon only really saved me because I am a prince, and everyone here they only looked at me because I am a prince, but. You came to save me, twice even, and I don't really trust anyone else. I don't know, I've just never been so scared and I, and I, just please don't leave. Let me come with you, I can help you, you're, you're trying to go see these people and you're not so very good with words, I could, I mean I could talk to them for you. Just please. Just for a while at least. I'll walk over to these twins. <sighs> you know, if this guy doesn't take us, I mean, we could just stick together. That'd be cool too. I'm starting to actually kind of believe there's validity to the whole, like, we're a related thing. 
Yes, but even together we'll die without Arthur. That's just a fetist attitude. L look, maybe you can come back or do whatever, but I, I can't do that. No, I just, you know, I don't know what you mean by come back. I just don't die. <laughs> Prince. Boy. You were such an asshole. <laughs> This world is not a storybook. It is brutal and unfair and chaotic. Cool. You would definitely see tears like welling up. You do not know. Neither of you know a single thing about me. I, I don't have to. You have no idea if I'm better at it than they are. Better at being manipulative and selfish. I know you came back for me. That's all I need to know. You're the only one who's been kind to me. Just be kind to me. Even if your heart is still, there's still kindness within it. Please. At least help us navigate the chaos. You can see that, like, Arthur... Though as uh, emotionless, he tries to stay and far, and as far as expression goes, there is like a sense of uh, almost um, fear with having you two around. If you two insist on following me, just know I make no promises to keep you alive. I cannot take that responsibility. Just as I told a measle, I'm telling you now, Prince. I don't know how he lives. But you can bet you might not be as lucky as he is. Measle's like picking his nose. <laughs> Just such a little brat. I can tell. You have been untouched by the evil in this world, in this life, and in the unlife. If you're not careful, it will corrupt you. Now look at a measle. <laughs> Maybe it already has. I'll get Deacon now. Okay. Wish you could as far away from each other as possible. What? So Sorry, I kind of spaced out for a second. <laughs> <laughs> um, we should... Uh, Put as much distance between each other as possible. Do not have to deal with these artificial feelings. Just for me, what color is your aura right now? As you're talking to these princes... Oh, I can tell you. How much do you get? Just the main color. Just the main color? Yep. No patterns? Nope. Just main color. All right. Well, it's definitely pale. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, you're a vampire. What does pale? Pale means a vampire. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> It is both light blue okay. for calm. Okay. It is also halfway silver for sad. Okay. And it's a bit orange for afraid. Okay. And at the bottom is red for angry. Those are the main colors you'd see. Afraid, sad, calm, angry. Well, <sighs> if you're scared of losing them. That's how I know you'll do the best job protecting him. Don't be a stranger, stranger. Deacon. If you wouldn't mind one last piece of advice. Someone who runs a city in this state. I am looking for peace. With this Anya I seek. It feels her Mere existence will eternally hold me back from it. Should things go the absolute worst way, and with me they always do, what am I looking at? No sentence from me, but just one from what's in you, what's in all of us. When you find her, make sure that you're the one deciding what to do. Not the beast. Alright. 
Now I gotta go check in with the mayor. Oh, he exploded. Um. <laughs> yeah, no, he's been the mayor for as long as I can remember. So if anyone has any electoral suggestions... Um, well, whose blood is the purest? What? Yeah. Well, that would probably be the one in charge, right? Yeah, shit. Um, I guess. I smell him. Does he smell pure? Um... What? <laughs> what? He well, he's like talking to Shiloh, blood. may I read his aura as well? Oh, yeah, sure, sure, sure. So you can't really smell that, um, but, like, from what you've gathered and what he's told you already, like, I mean, he's 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 a Ventru. He's, like, got it in his blood, right? The purest person you've met, bloodline-wise, is, I mean, obviously your mom, the Primogen. If Edward Twilight wanted to run for mayor or whatever, you'd know he'd get it in a heartbeat. One success of main color. Uh, since you guys are bloodbound, I'll give you I'll give you the color anyway. You see that his aura is very much uh, scrambled, like like it's like white noise. Yeah, understandable, dude. Yeah, good look. Uh, well, if Edward uh, Twilight runs, um, based on what you said, uh, we're all fucked. So hopefully that doesn't happen. Edward Twilight. Oh God. <laughs> I'm going to start heading away from the scene, and um, I guess we'll uh, look for a... Uh, yeah, hey, I figured, like, maybe a good good bonding exercise. We go feed together. It's probably, like... Oh, you know what? That's probably really heavy on my mind, so... That's I figured, like, maybe there's right. at least one threesome happening in this building right now. Catch you on the flip side. Sunshine! You see uh, uh, this fucking horse just comes out of nowhere. He just hops on the horse and rides off into the distance. Sweet, yeah, we can feed. Do you have, like, a chalice or something? I have, like, a flask. <laughs> we'll just find a house with a kitchen. That will work. And use that glasses. Oh, That's sure. my preferred method. I told you I teach. Uh, All right, what are you guys doing to hunt? Okay. Boy, take us to a house. Quickly, I'm hungry. Yeah, here let me, uh... Can, can I roll? <laughs> See if I know any in the neighborhood. This is not your neighborhood, so probably not unless you want to go like all the way back. Scout, can I just scout one out? Yeah, I mean, you're at this hotel. You could yeah. probably, uh... They probably you... have, like, glasses in here. And Look. again, I guarantee at least one threesome happening in here. So where are you looking? What are you trying to do? Uh, in the hotel area. Okay, sure. In the hotel? All right. Yeah. Mm, I don't roll in glove against people who are awake. They might not be. I don't actually know how we could... Oh, I could probably just convince them to let us do it. That's fair, yeah. This adversity builds character, okay? We're going to do wits and subterfuge, and that's going to determine how good of a one you're able to, to yeah, sure. get into. Um, That's 8-6. You keep talking about these people getting three of some. What are they getting three of? Uh, people. They're eating three people? No, that's no, a no. Lot. It's uh, two total. I got... Wait... Yeah, I got three successes, one one. That's horrible. Okay, three and successes, excessive. three successes, yeah. one one. So that's two. Yeah. Okay, so three successes and a botch, right? Yes. So okay, two. you get three successes and a botch, and you walk in on three people having sex and one person watching. <laughs> <laughs> oh great. Um, uh, I don't even. I don't want that. I don't want to see this. I don't want them to see this. Um, I'm going to immediately uh, do the shroud of veil thing where it fills the room with. Okay, products. immediately. Uh, yeah, immediately just goes completely black. Yeah. <laughs> It's pretty dim light before. I usually have to roll for it, but... Uh, you don't have to in this case. With those successes, I'll say that you guys can take uh, an amount of blood points split between these four people, whatever you'd like. Three is a safe amount, right? Three is a safe amount, There are, f but there are four people in here, so... From two people, I'm gonna take six, that's my goal. Okay. You can also take more than that, it's just they will be like anemic. Who's, who's, uh... Who's cuckolding at the moment? <laughs> I'd like to... <laughs> who, who, who botched, you ask? <laughs> it's just a guy in the corner in, like, just fully clothed in, like, khakis and a polo. Um, <laughs> Cargo shorts. Cargo shorts. Nice. <laughs> Actually, uh, fuck, I don't even want to describe this. You I'll see, he has a name tag on that says Greg Four, and Grefcore says, That is weird, my prince. <laughs> okay. <laughs> don't worry, um, Grefcore. We're sure just to, going to drink and leave. I'm not sure what to make of that. Could you yeah. please could please be quick, my prince? I'm I just wish gonna to leave take this scene. Three from him and then <laughs> three from someone else. They probably, as soon as the darkness fills the room, they like immediately start to. They yeah, have yeah, breathing. they're they're really into it. <laughs> no, no, um, no, they can't you, breathe. You, or yeah, it's super into it. You take six. You take <laughs> six points. I'd uh, like to take five total. Five total. 
Uh, okay. How many, okay, how about this? How about this? One of you is gonna accidentally kill somebody. As long as it's not me, that's all that matters. Everyone, cover your ears. We'll go one by one, and you'll each tell me how much you want. Oh, okay. Well, I can't really, like, take it myself. He has to give it to me. So that's, that's why I look for a glass. That's true. I also okay. filled the room with darkness, so only I can see. You guys are blind. Okay, sounds good. Um, so you're taking six. Are you giving five to him? You oh. have to. How many um, would you give me? I can't really yeah, make you, this you choice Yeah, you pick how much you give him. How are much we doing the headphones thing going? Around? Just for Condi. Just for Condi. I'm gonna take six. Uh, I will pour four for you. I'm, I'm locking in my answer three from before. Take three? So. Okay. three. Um, I think, okay, so that's six, okay. four, two three. Are anemic. <laughs> that's two anemic. Go ahead, go ahead and mark that on your sheet. Don't worry, I'll track it. They just had so much sex that they became anemic, man. I don't know. I think that's crazy. All of that happens, uh, and you all feel a little closer <laughs> after that <laughs> after that situation. And hopefully you guys didn't have to look at anything. That was my... And then you step out back onto the street, all kind of slightly more scarred than you were. How could we, like, expedite... We better, we better so? get more experience for that. How could you expedite what? How could we expedite, like, a little while so we can just, like, enter a new scene? Just yeah. tell me where you're what going. Could we, what could we do? Just this, say this you're going is, somewhere. This is, this is now going into a new scene. We just, yeah. we just okay. ended it. I'm no, we, let's like, just go to like a safe house, like a B&B. You guys make your way back to the B&B, um, shut the door, walk inside, and you're all there. Safe. Cool. Okay, this is not right closet. We can probably <laughs> put like the... Oh, this is actually the, the whole house. The over there. The what? This is the whole house. This is the, the B&B, the whole thing. B&B? B and B, yeah. What is B and B? Uh is there something I'm missing? He, what is he like B &B? raises? He raises his eyebrow a little bit. Bed and breakfast. All right. So there is a bed. Uh huh. And there is breakfast. No, they don't provide that usually. Well, that is just why do they call it that? Then? I <laughs> don't know. They should just call it a bed. It's just strange. You yeah. Just call it bed. Yeah. You get it. Exactly. Is this like a brother's thing that we are doing right I mean, now? Maybe we're doing like a it brother's thing. It feels like a brother's thing. It feels like thing. a little bit of a brother's thing. I feel like thing. we're doing a brother's yeah. thing. Boys, yeah, uh, both of you stay in here for now. When I get back, we'll find out where. We will decide where we are going. Cool. Oh, all right. Are you going to be gone for, for a very I just leave. <laughs> long... I think we should go to the, the unseen one, personally. I think that it just sounds exciting. Okay, well, here are just my thoughts. I have a couple yeah. of them. First uh -huh. one... He is unseen, or she, we don't uh -huh. know. They are unseen. There's probably yeah. a reason for that, so... Well, I mean, like, is... just imagine we're, we're seeing something that is, is right, relatively right, unseen. Right, I right. can see him for you, my princess. Thanks. Princess. Yeah, that's awesome. Aww. Okay, Grefcore, um, you, bro. how on the scale of, like, 1 to 45... Grefcore. ...is... Just, just let me get through this. <laughs> I love you very much. I, I love you as well, get, my prince. I just need to get through it. Awesome. On a scale of one to forty-five, how scary is is this, this unseen one? Do you know? I have not heard of the unseen one, my prince. But um, from oh, the name, unseen one like scale in, one to forty-five. In concept alone, yeah, sure. In concept alone, name something scarier, my prince. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's where I'm falling. Super probably quickly. like God. <laughs> Four, God is pretty all right, scary. 44, 45 is God, my friends. 45 is God. 45 is God. Unseen one is... If we say it one more time, we might be smited as well. Unseen okay, one, let's, 44, let's... unless, my prince, do you have anything Well, actually, yeah, scarier? I, I want to roll and um, see if I know about obscure... Uh, any rats, corporate... any, any kind of rodent of any kind. Okay, unseen one, that number probably... 43. Number four, 44 on the scale is rats. Okay, what about... Rat, like... So God, rats... The unseen one, my prince. God, the rats, unseen one, and what about the common Arthur. cold? Arthur comes below Arthur as well. Pretty scary. The unseen one, Arthur, Arthur rats, is, God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That means a lot to me, guys. Thanks. Uh, yes, oh, it's princess. more like the big pentacle things he's got, right? Like, well, it's we like can, the shadows, let's put those on that's the dog. Well, like, that's four. So that's total. four slots. That's four slots. That's four different that's four slots. Total. Each yeah. one. Yeah. Is tentacle one, scary. two, three. Shall we and name them, my princess? Arthur on top. Okay, let's call you guys one. Seen pigeons? Have you guys seen pigeons? Those I have seen pigeons. Yeah, no, but they're the greatest thing I've ever seen. Have you ever seen a pheasant? It, no. Shall no, we I add pheasants to the list as well, my prince? I still actually don't know what it's a pheasant like a bird, is. But it doesn't like always fly. They like. Why would we should? Why wouldn't a bird fly? I don't know. I'd like to go find out though. Well, it's more actually well, they like actually... to graze through and look through small Listen, I think, shrubbery. Like, what, scary, what kind of bird? This is a bird? What kind of, this... Like, where would we find this? No, they're not scary. They're Sounds unnatural, I saw 
I saw one in a light box, I think. A light box? They showed me in the light box. Oh, mm. number 40 is light boxes. Scruffcore don't like. Yeah. I also don't like the light uh, actually, boxes. Too much light, my princess. They hurt my eyes. Hey, so, uh, you, uh, you, you lived in, like, a palace or something? Like, with the queen? What, what's the deal? It was more like a palace slash castle slash, yeah. like, boardroom for, like, vampires and stuff slash prison slash cellar slash, like, hall slash, <laughs> slash, like, ballroom slash. That's, yeah, that's cool. It's but, a lot of things. But, like, yeah, I, I mean, really how, how was it? The one room. It was... Like, what, you get to co do cool stuff. Pretty like, cold. Come people. It was pretty cool. Come like people what? around, you know, like, be, be a prince. Like, maybe, command people? Yeah, like, like maybe... Well, I mean, like, Grefcore here, sure. Would you like to command me, my princess? Yeah, I can... I'm, I'm just, like... Go look for a light box. I'd like to see another pheasant. <laughs> yes, my prince. He leaves. Uh, yeah, like that, pretty much. But oh, all that's day cool. and, like... Yeah. Okay, so here's the thing. Like, I wake up and my coffin opens up and I like uh -huh. her eyes up, like straight yeah. from the ground. And then there's a little trap door. They give mm -hmm. me a chalice and I drink the blood and okay. I hang out with our Uncle Lazarus. He's really cool. Um, that I don't just know sounds much like about. a really despicable name. Like somebody who would do crimes. He's, he's just really sweetheart. awful he's things. He's a sweetheart. He's a sweetheart. Yeah, he's, okay. He's like, he's like dead heart of gold. Okay. It's not beating I'll, I'll take your it's word for it. yeah, so yeah. heavy and made of gold. Um, and then our mother, she is... She's not very nice. And I guess she lied to me about... You know, you. Uh-huh. Um... And I mean, like, was she, like, big, scary, all-powerful kind of being... Or... Something like that. Huh. I mean, like, where are you from exactly? I mean, you're not from America. It is called Umbra Castle. I don't know where uh, it might be, though. You know, speaking of castles, actually, I saw in the news today, uh, they called it Dracula's Castle. Apparently blew up uh, somewhere. Uh, Ro Rome, uh, Rome, It's just like somewhere like in Eastern... Like Yeah. Would I know anything about the Dracula's castle? You know the fuck about Dracula, yeah. You would know that she only told you about this once, I think. Okay. But your mother's sire was Dracula. Huh. Oh. And you would know that... I don't think you... He disappeared. <laughs> but I think hearing these things together, you would know that uh, Umbra Castle was spoken in whispers of belonging to Dracula at one point, yes. Yeah, I mean, it looks like maybe the vampire hunters kind of striking all over the place. You, I mean, you, I, don't, you said, I don't think you there's said, any you said natural gases in the old ass castle, you know? Dracula Castle? Yeah. Uh, Romania, that's the place. Is, is there a place I can see this news? Um, I don't know. I mean, I saw it on Fox News. Let's turn it on. Check it out. Uh, I turn on the light box. <laughs> the box turn on the light box. Um, <laughs> can I roll luck? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm sure if if something like that was blown up, it would be. On it the would nose. be a big deal. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I um, wouldn't. I mean, first there's there is some Family Guy. Yeah, on the show's oh, so funny, man. You gotta. Stoy. Yes, Brian. <laughs> You're gonna love us, Shadow. Blow us so hot, Stoy. Well, it's so hot, Stoey. Your mom's so hot, Stoey. <laughs> I love, I love her. I hate cats, <laughs> but I love your mom. Wow. This is high, bro. You know, I'm gonna try and do a Family Guy voice. Oh, okay, there's Joe. Hey, ever uh, no. Hey, Peter. Hey, Peter. Hey, hey, Peter. Peter. hey Stewie. Uh, hey, Joe. Hey, hey, hey guys, it's Joe. me, Peter Griffin. Hey, Peter. Hey, Joe. Oh, hello, Joe. <laughs> you're too good at it. Okay, now I'm gonna be the. Getting better by the um, Joe, I'm gonna, hey, Joe, I'm glad you're here, I'm, Joe. I'm Lois. <laughs> um, no, hey, hey, Lois. This is where the football baby tries to kill her. Ah! Uh, Die! You stupid bitch! I fucking this lost This reminds it, me of when I went for the 100 yard pass <laughs> touchdown at the 57th annual Super Bowl. <laughs> Brian, how do you feel about vampires, Brian? I feel like all of my brain is melting, like, as I watch it. 
Like, I feel like go. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, well, change channel. <laughs> what do you so, think of it? Okay, yeah, you change the channel, um, <laughs> and you see just, like, the, the basically ruins of this castle. Looks like a drone shot. Same lower third, kind of green screen reporter, someone talking about this. I look um, back on, it's ruining. This, like, monument of culture, essentially, that has, that has been destroyed. It looks like Dragula's castle is in complete rubble. And just for sake of two, like, real-life comparison, because I did look up what this castle looks like, it definitely doesn't like the real life Dracula's castle doesn't do this thing justice. Like the place you lived and what Dracula's castle is in this world is just like a huge fucking like awesome stone castle sort of top of a, a hilltop sort of thing. And I mean, it's not like rubble, but it's like decimated. And this is the one. You know it immediately. You'd know it immediately. Yeah. You'd recognize the surrounding area. You would see Shiloh like immediately start tears streaming oh. yeah so the hook uh, that's funny um, <laughs> <The> hooks, <boy. laughs> yeah so I mean it looks like they just kind of blew up the cast we're like vampires staying there and I kind of look over and I, I stop speaking when I see your face oh wait is that like that was where I live that was where it is where my mother lives. Oh shit. <laughs> oh shit, how do you uh... Hey, check out this thing I can do. Um... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, this is like this is like one of your little brothers is like crying, right? Yeah, like what do you do? What do you do? Um He like uh looks at his hands and slaps himself once. It's really funny. Uh <laughs> Fuck, okay, listen, I'm so sorry, I didn't know, uh, that. He'd probably just look over to you and start hugging you and crying in, into you. Yeah, there's probably, like, a moment of, like, pause, or he's unsure what he would normally do, uh, but probably after, like, a couple seconds, he would, he would hug you back a little bit. I just don't understand how this could happen. What happened? Like, they, they blew up the whole thing? Not all of it. From the images, it just looks like... Looks fucked up. It look, Yeah, much. it looks really fucked okay. up. Yeah. How did they even find it? I... I don't understand. It probably doesn't help it was named Dragula's Castle. <laughs> <laughs> Green is a bit of an egoist, huh? <laughs> yeah, probably not. Yeah. Oh, no. I was so mean to her, Misu. Hey, I mean, I... I did everything she told me not to do, and... I mean, it's okay. That's like, every kid does that. And the last... Like, the last thing she said to me was not to... talk about... what I saw. And now I can. What... What does that mean? I mean... She... Well, you, could you not before? I don't... She... She can command me not to speak about things, command people not to speak. Like like magical command, like you telling Soda not to drink Something soda? Something like that. Okay. And that is gone now. So that means... Um... It is safe to assume that, that would mean she is gone, yeah? Yeah, I think, yeah, yeah. Measle will draw that conclusion. I mean, maybe she just, like, released the, the command on you or something. You you don't know, but, I mean, you have a sinking feeling in your gut. Yeah. I was really hoping maybe she had an explanation for all of this. Like, maybe why she could tell me that you were there and why she hid it. Honestly, I was kind of hoping to learn the same. Um, You'd see it at this point. He would stop crying and has gone into complete shock. Just kind of stares down at the floor and sits for a while. 
I mean, I'm not good at this shit, man. <laughs> Fuck. I just thought it was like a cool explosion in another country. <laughs> um. Uh, I sit down and look at a different wall on you. <laughs> And then we'll cut over yeah. to okay. Arthur. Yeah, damn. All right. Well, yeah. I um, I look for a phone booth. Hope. Okay. So a little specific here because I'm paranoid. Before I leave the B&B, I double check all around it, underneath the steps and the bushes, whatnot, to make sure that nobody is uh surrounding it, looking, hiding from us, whatever. Me just making sure there are no enemies in the in yep, the base. Yep. 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 Totally. 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 Um, go ahead and give me perception plus alertness full successes he rolled the audience which means somebody is near you see a pair of electric blue eyes in the sewer and then they sink down watching Mm -hmm. does that ring any bells to me you 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 would know in your long history that the sewers and often underground and things like that are typically the domain of the nosferatu yeah makes sense but as far as the bushes and everything around yeah Okay, I'm gonna look for a telephone booth, hopefully one that is uh, closed all around it. You know, the one that like blocks sound. Are there telephone booths in Los Angeles? No. The, I've seen them. Hold on. Really? I'll okay, go, I'm looking. I'm going. I'm going. Google. 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 Um, I'm gonna roll. A, I'm gonna roll a d10 on a 10. There's one. I rolled a fucking 10. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, you walk down the street <laughs> and there is a uh, Chinatown dude you can always find what you're looking yeah, for yeah you're walking through Chinatown and there's a fucking screening of the new Doctor Who movie <laughs> and outside there's a working phone booth Police oh box. Oh my fucking god, that's perfect. There's dude. no possible reason that this would be here. It just is, and also it's hooked up and works perfectly. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do? Oh, Dan, I'm so glad. I'm so glad. Okay. Um, I just, I, there's, I did not expect that to come up. I didn't know. <laughs> there's no way. How, how are the streets? Are, are there a lot of people outside? Is this a phone booth underneath a light, or is it in shadow? Like, what am I looking at? Um, yeah. I mean, it's like it's 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 pretty well lit. There's some cars going by. There's people walking by for sure, but you, you have no reason to think that anyone would pay you any particular mind. Uh, I walk into it and I um, pull out the note and start dialing five, seven. <laughs> Don't say my phone number. All right. All right. Before he reads my phone number out, out loud again on the podcast, um, uh, you type it all in. Um, you hear it ring. Hello. Magnus, what time is it? 3 a.m. Apologies again, then. Oh, gosh. Is it you, Arthur? First, thank you for saving my life. Yeah, no thanks to you for being right in the fucking line of fire, man. But I got you, as always. Hope you got what you were looking for. Not now, Jerome. And... Is it him again? <laughs> Jerome, we can't keep doing this. Just make it quick. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> it's a little <laughs> awkward. <laughs> How did it go for you? And the rest of them? May I have a status report of sorts? Status report? I'll give you what they told me. Our operation went well enough. Goal was to take out the mayor and destabilize. And me and the team found out shortly after this was not an isolated strike. There's a reason we hit at night. I got good news, Arthur. Good, good news. The bitch is dead. Yeah, the fucking bitch is dead. <laughs> God, he just laughed out loud <laughs> from the bathroom. <laughs> oh, they got her. I didn't even know they were doing it. But apparently, apparently it worked. They were just holding off till they had enough information or something. <clears throat> and the bitch you are referring to is... The fucking queen. The big bitch. Right. She dead. Dead as hell, Arthur. Fucking dust, man. Yeah. And you're sure. Um. <laughs> you have something of proof. Ash. Well. A head, a heart. Not me, but Grim Slayers don't really just announce something like that for the shits. Vampires are fickle. We have beaten death once. You need to be absolutely sure before you are. Uh, don't jinx it, man. I'm sorry. Just let's let's just let's simmer in it. All right. 
Magnus needs a dub ski. Been going through this thing with Jerome. You're right. I apologize. You wanted this, right? I have... Can I just hear like, yeah, that's awesome, Magnus? That is excellent that you have succeeded in your goals. You know my goal, Magnus. Seems like we're one step closer. Anyways, I called for another reason. Magnus, I... Is it the Wi-Fi? It's on the back of the router. No, it is not this... Wi-Fi you speak of. I need weapons, Magnus. Subtle. Hidden. I need weapons. Fit for hunting a vampire. You're asking the right guy. We talking steaks? We got a weird one we can use garlic. Um, no. Some of the real freaks run water will stop them. Can you... (laughs) Um, no. Please. Some silver? That'll do. Um... Whatever you use that I can hide on my person. Well, I don't think I'm gonna give you any fire. Give him an Assassin's Creed hidden blade, please. As long as it is fire that I can... But I did go to Comic-Con this year. (laughs) (laughs) And I do have this cool Assassin's Creed hidden blade. I'm not aware of either of these things. Can you please elaborate? Yeah, um... Well, hang on. What what is he gonna say? He's gonna say, um, <laughs> shoot a mofo in the throat with the bow. Tomahawk chop is my death blow. blow. That's my shit. You fucking know it, Jerome. <laughs> we love Smosh. I'm like the end to his Anthony. <laughs> <laughs> it, um, it appears you and Jerome are working out whatever you are going through. Yeah, I think so, and Smosh is really helping. I hope nothing happens. Yours. <laughs> Shut up. Okay. <clears throat> Dude, what the fuck, man? Sorry. Yeah, I know, I know that maybe works with vampires, but we're tight. Hey, um, so, no, seriously, stakes, I don't know how well they can be concealed, but we can do, uh, wooden stakes always do the fucking job. I mean, blades will, blades will do okay. You know best as me, fire is the best thing, but... Um, last time, last time we went camping, you got a little freaky. Magnus. First, what about wooden bullets? Have you ever shot a gun before? And do you know how bullets work? You know damn well I've shot many guns. Yeah. Okay, well, I don't know how bullets work, but, um... Hey, Jerome, can you Google something for me? It just needs to be a wooden tip. Can you look up to wooden... Can you... What are there wooden bullets? Are there wooden bullets? Are there? If we've never thought of this, this is going to the top. I hope you know. Things are gonna get a whole lot more serious. Yeah, what kind of? What the fuck? Are you fucking kidding me? It just needs to be tip. The casing is still metal, and the tip is wood. Okay, well, I'm not sure if it'll it'll work because we haven't tried it. I feel this fucking work. I'm gonna be so fucking pissed at you. And we don't have that, but. If you want, I can get you a gun and uh, a bunch of wood. I don't really have wood tip. I mean, I get. Jerome, can you just buy like wood tip bullets? Looks like wooden bullets are real. <laughs> They're real. They're real. Okay. Wooden projectiles designed to be fired from a gun. Yeah, you can just buy them. Yep. All right. Actually, I lied. You can really just buy them. They are crowd control, less lethal weapons. Okay. Um, I mean, but I can't promise them. you this will work. But, yeah, I can, um, uh, get you some of these. Are you gonna pay me back this time? I, um, I've been told I am a gold ex- American Express member. Whatever the fuck I've, that means. I've seen the card flake, Arthur. <coughs> you don't need to lie to me. Anyways. <laughs> Magnus, um, could my glove... <laughs> Jerome... Sorry. Who do you think's gonna win this year's food battle? Pink Frost is a sprinkled donut. What were you saying? Mm, all right. A gun, silver, wooden bullets. That would be very helpful, Magnus. Okay. And steaks that I can all hide right, in my jacket right. pocket. Yes, making you a grocery list for this at 3 a.m. Um, all right, and what do you want this by? How? No. Oh my god. <sighs> Can you put it somewhere that is on the way? Hey, Jerome, I gotta, I gotta drop something off. <laughs> Are we wa- watching lunchtime with Smosh or not? Oh, you know how I feel about lunchtime with Smosh. Oh, that 
It's got those new members on it, doesn't it? Whatever. Just go. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jerome. Hey, Jerome. What? It's pronounced gay babuscus. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> oh, fuck. Hey, Drew, um, Drew, I feel like this will age well. Yeah, totally. Okay, so our campaign <laughs> must be set in like 2012. <laughs> <laughs> 20 fucking Magnus 50. is in his 40s. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. You gotta see this. He's building, building a house in Minecraft. It's no called Fort Buskis. No fucking so way. He's cool. building a house. It's so cool. Holy shit. This is even better than the last literal trailer. Um. <laughs> Am I invading on this scene? No, Jerome, it's cool. I'll go back to bed. All right, I'll get you these as soon as I can. Where do you want them? Bring it to the Airbnb. Please, Magnus. I have something to tell you once you get here that right. I do not wish to discuss over the phone. Okay. This better be good, man, because I was really counting on a good night's sleep after that. I'll see you as soon as I can. Go get fucking wooden bullets at 3 a.m. Just <laughs> <laughs> Magnus buying his wooden bullets again from the Magnus. wooden bullet store. I really appreciate your help. Yeah, but tell you what, I'll get you everything else. Can you just go get the wooden bullets? Because it's, yeah, honestly, it's embarrassing. Yes. Thanks. All right. I'll see you soon. And, uh, I just hang up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Intro first. Jerome. <laughs> you can't. <laughs> you can't get into a scene. It's like Jerome. Wait, wait. It's like it's like a split. It's like a split frame, and you hang up, and you fully slide out of frame, and now we follow Magnus for the next three hours as he goes <laughs> with Jerome and drives in complete fucking mm. silence to the gardening center where he buys you a massive bag of wooden stakes, oh and then in complete God. silence, <laughs> That's um, awesome. as he drops them off at the Airbnb. Cool. Is that what you wanted to do? Yeah, I guess I'll uh, just. Get, is, it, is it expeditable to buy a clock and uh, wooden bullets? Uh, do you have yeah. an ID? Yeah. Actually, no, you don't need one. This is America. Uh, um, <laughs> this is yeah, also LA. This is, this is America. This is LA. Glock and wooden bullets. Fucking sure. Um, Looking for wooden and silver bullets. What do I roll? And a Glock. And I have money. You've got the silver card, right? But it's painted gold. It's painted gold. I Here's mean, I, I should still have some money. It is. It is like no, income. no, no. You have money. You have money. But I think what we're gonna do. Is you want to get a Glock and silver bullets, right? Yeah, and wooden bullets. And wooden bullets. Okay, I'm gonna roll a d10. On a one or two, you hit your credit limit. Oh. Sound good? Yeah. Cool. I got an eight. You're fine. Cool. Um, yeah, you can easily charge this stuff. Uh, easy peasy. You buy it. You head back I to the head B &B. back to the B and B. You see uh, Grafcore walking by. Um, sees a Best Buy, smashes the window, <laughs> grabs a TV, light box, uh, just starts running. <laughs> I love Grafcore <laughs> with all of my heart and soul. Um, oh my god! Yeah, okay. I'll walk into the BNB, wait for Magnus to get here. What's going on inside the? Oh yeah, I mean it's really just so it's, fucking it's awkward. Tense. It's very tense. It's the most situation. awkward here's, situation. Here's the thing: is at some point they probably would have got up and walked to a nearby closet yep. and shut. This was, yeah, you this was you open the door and the amount of sheer uncomfortable aura that flies out immediately and blasts your hair back. I walk in and say, "Who died? The queen, except for us." Oh. Yeah. Congrats on your new position. Is that, how's, is that how that works? No. I don't think that's going to make it up to Shelly. He do seems I, pretty upset about it. He's been around so long that no one knows how it works. Chaos. Of course. <laughs> yeah. I highly doubt that the queen is actually dead. I don't know. I mean, her command on Shiloh apparently uh, isn't working anymore. The Queen is smart enough to release anything like that. It is very likely that, in my opinion, this is all a part of our game. I mean, it sounds to me like, you know, your buddies went and uh, blew up Dracula's castle. Ugh. Blowing up her place of living is not enough to kill the Queen. I mean, how do you know that? Not to, like, question your... Your infinite intelligence or anything, but like, you know, you know, I mean, it seems pretty... You're alive, aren't you? Yeah. Why wouldn't she be? I mean, I don't know, I just like walked out of... Do you think you're special? Yeah. 
maybe. <laughs> if she is your mother, it's likely she has the same luck. Or maybe it's not luck at all. Maybe you're alive because of her. Perhaps Shiloh would be very hard to kill as well. I mean, maybe. This oh. is just my opinion. It is irrelevant. Now, about where we are heading. I have someone coming to meet me here, and then we can leave. Okay. Where is the prince? Uh, closet. I open the closet. Open the closet to Just see. Just looking at you with this, the squinted eyes. Shiloh is holding a journal and just like head down into his lap kind of covering it he wouldn't even look up to see you really yeah uh, he's kind of been like this since he found out the news I can hear him like loudly crying I'm not sure what to do about that <laughs> my princess a light box it's here my princess Oh, cool. Where's it's, the cord? It was, it was making light just a second ago, my princess. And then he sees um, Shiloh, and he um, takes a knee uh, by you and just quietly kind of puts an arm around you. Why are you crying, boy? Can I please just be alone right now? No. <laughs> okay. There, there, my prince. Well, listen, I mean... If we really wanted to find out whether the queen was alive or dead, like right now, um, it sounds like maybe either of these people could help us, you know? The, uh, the Midnight Circle or the Unseen One. Seems like maybe they have some kind of insight into that kind of stuff. Arthur acknowledges what you've said with a nod and then addresses Shiloh. Being alone while feeling pain. Is the fastest track to being insane. Why are you crying? Do you hurt because your mother is said to be dead? Do you believe everything you hear and see immediately? He just looks up at you and you can see like blood going down his face. Yeah, his expression That's doesn't fierce. change. Gruff Gore, yeah, takes like a little handkerchief and it's like helping just, you clean it. You can see in this journal he's got like a drawing of his mother that he's been clutching just looks up at you and you can tell that he's not really he can't even get the word down you would know that she was at, at times very very strict badly so on you obviously but there were also moments of genuine kindness and humanity with her and she she was you know a, a mother and she really did try is this the first time you've lost somebody you care for? She's all I have ever had. It's pretty clear he's not going anywhere right now or for a while. So anything you guys do, he's just probably out of the scene. But feel free to do. I think Amiz will probably go outside, honestly. Okay. Just kind of get away from the situation. I'll join you in one second. Sounds good. Friends. If this is too much for you, I can take it away temporarily. How? The same way you do to others. Or you can force yourself to find the strength to process it. We've all had to do it. And we all will again. Can I make probably like a courage roll? Would I, would I forget her? You did it? No. And you would just be compelled to feel less pain. He's just gonna nods. Grifcore in here? Yep. We'll need you outside, Grifcore. Is that what you would like, my prince? He gives Grifcore a hug and then sends him off. Yep. Grifcore hugs you back rigidly, <clears throat> gets up, walks out. You can still sit in the closet. I'll kneel down. Being what we are is a curse. The only way a life has meaning 
is because it always has death at the end. For us, that death is never near. I don't really believe your mother is dead. But if she is, I'd say she's finally free. I think she'd finally find peace. I'm going to use uh, Dominate and Mesmerize. If you allow this to happen, it just happens. Yep. Okay. I suggest you stop thinking about this for a little while. Shiloh, I'm going to need you to give me a self-control roll. Ooh. Difficulty would be six. Uh But you just lost everything you've ever known. Difficulty is nine. I have a five, a two, a seven, a nine, and a one. Oh. So just no successes? No. Shiloh, you feel similar to how you did when you first stormed out. You feel betrayed. You feel betrayed by your mother that she would leave you. And you feel guilty that you'd try and take these feelings away. And you start to go into not like an anger, but like an anguish kind of frenzy. Um, what am I compelled to do? Nothing. What would Shiloh be compelled to do? Nothing. Okay. You go to do this and Arthur, you see as something flashes behind his eyes and he pushes you away and like just turns inward on himself and is just like almost silently shrieking. Like he can't bear to forget. And there's no like tears anymore or anything. It's just. Yep. <clears throat> yeah. I look at him and Arthur would see himself on the floor of his own house. A hundred years ago in London. I think you just leave him there. I like to imagine a shot of Arthur walking away and Shiloh getting smaller and smaller and smaller. Amizel, what are you up to out there? Kicking dumpsters. Kicking dumpsters? Yeah, yeah, garbage cans on people's driveways. Okay. Roll a soak roll for me. Soak roll. (laughs) Oh my god. (laughs) Okay, uh, that's a stamina plus fortitude, right? Yeah. One, two, three... You feel a sharp pain as a wooden stake goes through your heart. Oh, man. And you hear, what the fuck? (laughs) (laughs) And a hand on sort of the scruff of your collar. uh, And you can't, like, do anything. You're kind of just paralyzed. You're not dead. Dead. Um, Because staking doesn't kill (laughs) vampires. It paralyzes them. You feel just a dragging. uh, And then you hear a knocking at the door. Um, I would... Oh, wait, you left, didn't you? I mean, I, I would, like... Yeah, probably, it, it, this would be like coincidentally like perfect like time. Okay, cool. Yeah, he knocks as you open the door, and in front of you, you see um, standing at a little a little shorter than you. His hair has more more gray in it now, sort of longish, uh, kind of dirty brown hair. <laughs> that was so badass. <laughs> um, pretty pretty sharp features. He's a handsome guy, um, dressed in this sort he of. He really just took a shot at me. I'm sitting out there in, in the <laughs> rain with my hood up, probably. No chance, bro. He took a shot at me in yeah, the heart. He did. Yeah, he wow, did. Okay. I had him. I had him roll to tell if you were you were okay. because he was coming up on this. Uh, he's yeah. he's pretty he's pretty dense. Walks up. He's just sort of got this dirty brown like leather almost what about trench Grifgor? coat. Um, where's Grifgor's? He went outside with me. <laughs> That'd be so funny if he also gets like, like he's got Dude, Grefcore's on the roof right now waiting. <laughs> he's, he's ready for that fucking. Um, <laughs> you, you hear, you hear from the top rope, my prince. And, <laughs> um, uh, you, you see as Grefcore comes plummeting down um, as if an angel in disguise from the sky, uh, and Magnus twirls a wooden stake, holds it up, and Grefcore fully appears himself. <laughs> um, Jesus Christ. Those parts, dude. Um, <laughs> and, uh, drops slippery to the ground. Um, oh my God. Uh, he, uh, Magnus looks up at you. 
I think you gotta call someone. <laughs> <laughs> no, these are mine. Thank you, Magnus. Just throw them in here. He just tosses them inside. <laughs> All right. I just limply kind of come in. <laughs> yeah, just completely. It's just like a POV, like GoPro shot of you just fucking flying <laughs> he's gonna around. They're going to leave the stairs. He was, you know? was kind of like a little, little angie before. Now he's reeling. Yeah. He just laying yeah. on the floor. You're just, your, your eyebrows are just like slowly furrowing into this fucking <laughs> angry expression. He just drops a duffel bag at the door. Anything else? Yeah, I, I shut the door. My and walk prince out. gives you a little bow. <laughs> um, that is uh, what I wanted to talk to you about. What's up? Magnus. Regardless of what we are, I want to share something with you and fully believe that you would never tell another soul. Can you keep a secret, Magnus? Just for now. What kind of secret are we talking? Two important ones. Can you, Magnus? I'm going to read his aura, too. I need to believe that I can trust you wholeheartedly, as I have for many years. I trust you, Arthur. But you know what our goals are. Two successes, main color. What am I looking at? It's not really one for curious, is there? No, but you could you could just make one. He's up. curious. Okay. He's 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 intrigued by it. You see, also a little bit. There's always a little red in Magnus Fox's aura. Fucking me too, dude. That's what and I would on. just say like. You would also know um, this, just so I don't have to have him say, hey, remember my thing? Yeah, um, yeah go ahead, go is ahead. You would know he wants the same thing as you do, because his, not his whole family or anything, but his sister in particular, was basically ghouled uh, by a vampire, and he had to watch her just kind of decline, and that didn't end well. And kind of since then, like you know that he has a vendetta against them. He doesn't really view them as as people anymore but he has the capacity to just because of he does with you he does with you but who knows how he sees you it's a shame that everybody else in this house is incapacitated in some form <laughs> there's there's no way to resist staking paralysis staking is just a really fucking hard thing to do but he has like a specialty in it yeah. and it's kind of his whole thing it's more like it has to, so it has to get a certain number of successes past your toughness and with a high difficulty uh, and then you're staked it's not easy to do at all it is easy to do if you're not expecting it but that's about it yeah if anyone was ever going to stake you by surprise and succeed it's pretty much this guy and even then not guaranteed so what do you say to him with that knowledge I'm going to say knowing knowing Magnus you probably know that it's not riskless the first one, uh... Yeah. It is very likely that I can, um... Locally, things are chaotic right now. But it is likely I will find you know who I'm looking for, and, um... I hope so. If I get caught, Magnus... Now or in the future with whatever I do when I find her. It, the entire society in the state would be after me. We got your back. And I got your back even more. I'm going to be potentially seeing probably the scariest sounding kindred in the world. Oh, can I come? Um. I just have some notes. It would be better if your attention was elsewhere. Fair enough. Jerome and I have a big backlog. The second thing. I will tell you. I mean, I will tell you my experience with this, um, dangerous. But the second thing is, um, <clears throat> the Slayers are aware of the Sheriff. 
We take info where we can get it. I mean, we know there's a sheriff. Well... But the mayor was really where we had our eye on. There's always some kind of second hand. Someone in command. The sheriff, Deacon Keller. Only of downtown LA. He believes I am a spy. But I have earned his secrecy and respect. Do with that what we will. Uh, you better be sure, ma'am. I'm quite positive as I have earned a, a little more than just respect on accident. Well, that seems like a whole thing. Um, I just wanted to share this with you. If you trust him, I mean, I still don't, but I trust you. I trust no one, Magnus. You don't really mean that anymore, though, do you, Arthur? I am trusting you now. So, don't let me down. Thank you for the stakes, Magnus. Anytime. Well, if this, uh, except this time. Again. Ever. It's so fucking early, man. Please stop. I don't have a um, way to know uh, is that a particular time that works best for you. Day? Yeah. Yeah, well, day. I, you make progress on how I can... Just, just leave a note, man. Just leave a note. I left you a note. It's just a nice thing to do. <laughs> Jerome and I have been leaving notes. Well, works for us. And hey, for what it's worth, I don't know, you always look kind of sad. But I think you look a little less sad today. I don't know if that's the fire or something else, but good for you, man. I hope you find her. I am only focused. Nothing more. Sure. I'm gonna leave those stakes in your pals. Cause that one is like turning red in the face. <laughs> There's um, like steam <laughs> at this point. <laughs> and uh I don't know if the blood's pool in or what, but um These are just fledglings. They do not know how the world works. This one was human a mere four days ago. <laughs> Clearly. Well, uh, teach them quick before they get staked in the back by someone that isn't going to let them live. Um, all right. Anyway. When I was on the phone with you telling you that if the Grim Slayers ever are, are more open to having kindred firepower, these are the prospects. Potential. Yeah. Well, thanks. I think if the day ever comes, we're probably in more shit than we can get out of. Before you go, Magnus, do you know your next goal? Yeah. Your next... To see if the pink frosted sprinkled donut clears. <laughs> <laughs> After that, probably get eight hours for the first time. I mean... In a bit. I mean with the org. Yeah. I take orders. I don't give them. But here in Los Angeles, I don't know. Maybe things are going to heat up now that power's changed. Maybe some vampires will get a little more bold. And maybe I'll be able to do a little rogue work. We'll see. Please tell me if you need help with anything. Will do. If you have any more kindred friends, maybe keep them off the street so I don't accidentally put a uh, wooden fence post through them. I do not have friends. Whatever you say, sucker. Magnus out. Does an Assassin's Creed dive off the balcony? <laughs> 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 All right, I just walk in. I remove the wind from Griffgar and from um, Amizel. What the fuck? One season, safe distance yeah. away. Hey, at least wait until I fucking pull out, man. Shit. <laughs> yeah, I do, I do, I do, I do. Okay. I do. Uh, great, and, uh, and and with that, Magnus drives off back home. You guys are left here in the B&B to do as you will. No, seriously, what the fuck? <laughs> I told you I would not be responsible for their actions. I, I would... You didn't tell me you had a... <laughs> yeah, he, yeah, the steak comes out, and there's just Sharpie on it. Let's just get fucked. <laughs> Breathe, boy. <laughs> He's like shaking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That lack of self-control is likely why you got killed the first time. You did die, right? No. 
I just crawled out of ashes in a building. And also, like, swam in blood for eight hours. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm swimming like, do I, would I know anything like that? Does what I, the fuck? No. <laughs> you've never heard of that shit in your life. That's the most insane thing you've ever heard. It, um, sounds like you went to hell and came back, so. <laughs> That's fucking dope. <laughs> so, what do you guys want to do? Um, let's see. I, I don't think we need to. You don't have to play it out. You can just tell me. I'd like to, uh, f- fucking feed again on the next night the very beginning all right sounds good and yeah that's about it and i'm just gonna wait until shiloh is like you know talk talkable too you can bring okay. me some blood and i might talk because i get a little thirsty i will bring him some blood after i get some and i'll even let him drink from my family's fucking flask cool. wow that's okay um are you gonna feed as well a measle yeah i'll feed I need all right a few more. we're gonna resolve this pretty fast and swift just tell me what you're doing to feed I'm going to go into someone's house, wrap them in shadow, take them down the steps, uh, sit at the dining room table, pour their blood into a glass, drink the glass, read through my book of uh, names, and then let them pass out unconscious, not remember anything, and then go uh, back to the Airbnb and meet up with them. Okay, dexterity cool. plus larceny from you. What do you need? Yeah, I think I'm a little pissed off today, so I'm going to go beat up a bunch of fangs and maybe suck the blood out of one of them. Okay, <laughs> not like Not like fully, but like... Just like enough until I'm full. I only need good. three. Strengthless brawl from you. Okay. Four successes. Four successes? Yeah. So just All right. beat up a bunch of people. Okay. How many did you get? Two. Two? I'm going to say uh, you have a little bit of trouble. You maybe accidentally break something again. Um, <laughs> Who's there? The fucking bat again? I have to say, it's the, literally the literally same, same guy. Same. Holy shit, it's you again. I thought it was a dream. <laughs> um, it was. <laughs> Easily, easily put them under after that, no problems. You guys basically take between one and ten blood. I, I take three, yeah. Take three? Okay. Yeah, and then I'm full. Right. I, don't, I, don't, I don't need to kill somebody over this, cool. but I do beat them up cool. pretty bad. Okay. Three, three as well. Yeah. Interesting, you're not killing people anymore. It's just like, I don't it's know. It's almost like it affected you. Yeah. <laughs> cool. I didn't like that. Didn't like that. No, it was freaky, wasn't it? Yeah. Um. Great. Are you grabbing any for Shiloh? Yeah, is that a different house? Maybe maybe because of how you. that went, can I try a different method? Yes, what would you like to try? Can I just find someone fucking trunk in an alley? <laughs> maybe, <laughs> maybe not trunk. Um, how do you, yeah, what do you do to dude, them? Dude, give me some liquored up ass blood. That's <laughs> fucked up, bro. Okay, I'm going to find someone drunk in an alley. Okay. Um, find Theo. All right. <laughs> I'll even you use- You are already on my level. <laughs> <laughs> You already got hooked on the bottle. It's too late. <laughs> You're already on my level. Um, uh, yeah. <laughs> so I look for someone like the saddest out. character arc of all fucking. Dude, time. soda doesn't have that same kick. Even though he can drink it now, that I, liquor I, just got. I haven't hold even on. met Theo, so I don't know That's what he looks rough. like. So this makes no difference so to me. Yeah. Do I have to roll or do I actually just find Theo? <laughs> it's gonna be perception <laughs> plus so sad, uh, plus sorry. a fucking alertness or whatever <laughs> plus uh, like <laughs> my, like fucking four difficulty because of aspects well you can you can find him easy but how are you like feeding like what do you do oh the the cat my cat opens him cat bites it Um, okay so you're just gonna like what are you gonna do though like sneak up on him or like intrigue him or like he's drunk oh oh shit what are you gonna do you see what i'm saying i I am i am a shadow person i will just sneak up on him and my cat will hop onto him even my cat might might even be able to distract him um and then yeah, we'll Great. just we'll All just right. subdue him and do That's the fun. whole manipulation plus stealth. Charlie, I just like the next few times of the campaign when Theo comes up, I just need him to be on the up and up, you know? I, I feel, feel like I feel I like really this is his rock button. I really yeah. need that for him. I really, yeah. really need that for him. I just want him to become is, soda again. This is, this is too much. Yeah. <laughs> this poor man. This poor man, Theo. <laughs> I got him to stop drinking soda. That should have been a good thing. <laughs> wasn't. No, no, you took away his life it wasn't. energy. Two, two successes? <laughs> oh, hey, cool, a cat. Meow. Looks over. Uh, hey, kitty. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, gotcha. Hey, why is, your, why is your shadow doing that? What? <laughs> um, uh, just, uh, just gets consumed by you. How much blood do you want to take from him? Oh, my God. Does he look okay? Can I take three? You take three of the, of, it is the worst blood. <laughs> <laughs> it is... It is carbonated and it is full of alcohol. He's been he's been mixing lately. He's, he's been mixing Man. fully cross faded blood. <laughs> um, well, it is going in a flask for alcohol. It's going so. in a flask for alcohol. You put it in. Take three. 
Yeah, he kind of stumbles over once you're done. That was crazy. Gets in his car. Crashes. Crashes it. His brand new car that he got like five seconds yeah, ago. Yeah, just obliterates oh, it. The yeah. rental. He got the rental car. Gets gets pulled over by the police. Um, goes back to jail. Goes back to jail. I think I think <laughs> next time we see him, he's gonna be he's gonna be like a salesman for for a company, and he's gonna be doing better. Poor fucking Theo, dude. Like, All you gotta do is grab him and take him with you at some point. Otherwise, his life's just gonna keep getting. <laughs> No, I, I need to guys. take him. I need to take him. All right, you uh, you you feed those three points on Theo. Give him Shiloh. Um, another night passes. Go ahead and take one one blood away. Everyone, add one willpower as you sleep and wake up another night. Yeah, you know, just walk in, open the closet, toss in my flask. Yeah, this will make you feel better. I think I don't think he'd have been sitting in the closet oh. all day, <laughs> like for that long, but. When you walk in, you would see him and Grefgor just like sitting on the floor yeah. watching the TV, and it's just like, what would we even be able to? Family get? Guy again, my prince. <laughs> God no. Sure. I uh, I would I, okay. So I'd come in, I toss it onto your lap, and say, "Bottoms up." Is this blood? Yes. I have to sniff it. What does it smell like? Blood. Sadness. <laughs> no, Damn. I'm and gonna I'm gonna take him with us next time. Oh man, I almost let it smells like an impossible future. I drink it. Yeah, I, you just, know, I just don't you know. You know it's sodas. It tastes How? Because <laughs> it tastes like soda, but also like alcohol and also like regret. <laughs> this tastes like regret. Where did you go for this? Do I even want to know? <laughs> Was it soda? Oh, I do not know who that is. I found someone in the alley. Uh, no. He was wearing a leather jacket with some gang affiliation on the back. Oh no. Yeah, he has a ba- he has a bandana on. Was he surrounded by soda cans and Oracle? <laughs> he was stumbling. Oh no. That is totally the uh... Uh, I'm gonna Yeah, I'm gonna I'll be right back, okay? <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Is this how you felt when you put Felipe in the plot? <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, uh, Amizel yeah, goes and, and checks Soda into therapy, man. He's <laughs> not in even therapy. Right in, 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 he's in rehab. Give him more of your blood. So you uh, roll me, blood. roll me charisma plus empathy. Okay, I have no empathy. We're gonna see if he goes into rehab or gets worse. I have <laughs> one. Cri- can I willpower? It? Can I just willpower it? Yeah. Uh, yeah. You can yeah. Use yeah willpower. Sure. Fuck oh, it. Oh my god. Okay. I feel like he needs this. Okay. Is there anywhere Arthur might go to brood? No, oh, I got a fucking Where Arthur botch. goes to brood? Yeah. You botch like a, it? Like yeah, but I also something. willpowered it, so I don't know what that means. It's one day. <laughs> no, Anna, I don't need help. <laughs> soda, no. Yeah. Soda, no, come back here. It's not Soda anymore. Actually, I have a new nickname. No. Alcohol? <laughs> 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 this is not okay, guys. Yeah, this is yeah, all right. This, this is, is nothing. This all right, yeah, no, him, you're. They call him Bud. Yeah, right. You're right. You're Bud right. Light. They call me Bud Light. Bud wouldn't let me have his nickname. Anyway, you're right. Um, and I'll go to. Yeah, you can check me. <laughs> no, awesome. Okay, he goes to rehab. Okay, he's gonna be fine now. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's this how rehab. A, this is At really. Someone is on the up and up. He's sent him to rehab. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna roll for him real quick. <laughs> God, oh just, a, just a background, hope... just a background plot, guys. All right, I know I how he, he finds God. I know I how he doesn't rehab. I hope he there. finds religion. We cut back over to. Oh my God, he's gonna join the Grim Slayers. We cut back over to not. <laughs> We Stop. go back over to not this. Um, oh my God. Back, back at the house. Uh, you guys hear the knock Just at the describe door. Describe where he would be. Yep. Um, okay, so he was asking where Arthur goes to brood. I'd say probably would. Uh, if this is another night where we're kind of waiting on Shiloh to be conversable, then he would just sit on the roof and keep an eye out for anything that comes near this uh, B&B. If it has a roof, if not, then balcony is fine. Listening to all the sounds very intently, very heightened senses, taking in the experience of living in the uh, shady parts of Chinatown, I guess. Uh, something does come near the BB. A car pulls up, uh, and you see as someone gets out, looks like this sort of older woman. <clears throat> she sort of walks up the stairs to the BB, puts a key in the door because I rolled for it, and you guys had three days at the BB. Could we do this first? <laughs> Sure. I think he wanted to. Sorry, I do, and the, I just wanted to be able to talk before we get kicked out. Go for it. <laughs> if we talk, is she gonna walk in? No. 
Okay, because I was going to meet her at the door, but I would like to do this with him first. That's okay. I didn't realize you guys had a scene planned. I was kind of just, this is also my way to. Please go. <laughs> We're going to yeah. go. We're going to go. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. If you're up on the roof, Shiloh, would, you would hear him very, very loudly, like, climbing his way up. Yeah. Um, and he wouldn't okay. say anything. He'd just come up and sit down next to you. I mean, he's already up there. He's on the chimney. It's very awesome. You climbed. <laughs> it's so loud. Yeah, but they got like really good noodles here. Noodles? Yeah. Like ramen, uh, pho, stuff like that. Not that we can eat it anymore. What? The guys cannot eat food. What? <laughs> yes. It is part of the curse. Uh, this completely ruined my enjoyment of uh, this. It will not be the last. So we're looking for the unseen one? That was one of our options, yes. I just thought I stopped getting hungry. Are you prepared to talk about our next move, Prince? You can just call me Shiloh. I will consider. Obscure system zinc, right? I think that that's the play, personally. If the queen is dead, answers sooner is better. The two of you make decisions with little information. Yeah, I mean, we go off what we have. You got anything you want to chime in, maybe? You know, add to the pool. I mean, you would already need a decision before I had the chance. Oh, yeah, I Impulsiveness mean, is dangerous, boy. I just... Anything is better than sitting here. The Unseen One. Supposedly leads the Nosferatu. One of the 13 clans of Empire Society. What would I know of Nosferatu? Nosferatu have never had any place in the castle. You would know that Nosferatu, every clan has a curse. And the Nosferatu's curse is basically they are like their appearance. It's very hideous. And like mm -hmm. when you think mm -hmm. scary, mm -hmm. scary vampire, mm -hmm. um, them, Renwick was a Nosferatu. You notice his features were visibly different. They can't like go out and blend in among people. Like if one of you guys was playing a Nosferatu, you couldn't just like go out on the street and do the shit you've been doing, um, basically. So that's, you would know about them. Maybe you've seen one or two working around the castle, but for the most part, they are not super well regarded. Cool. And you would know that they are very good at dealing in information. If anyone would know, perhaps they will know if my mother's truly dead. Your mother was in a completely different country. But because this is the leader, he may know for sure. Or it. Anyways. It will not be an experience for the weak of heart. And there is no guarantee that we will leave without injury. So I have prepared. The other option, because it is a week, we have a lot of time to prepare. But we can also find them after the Unseen One. If you really want to meet the absolute most terrifying part of this society. But I am no stranger to darkness, so it makes no difference to me. You measle? I personally am still leaning for the Nosferatu. here. Any reason, or just... Uh, just that. sounds interesting. I figure it as much. Yeah. <laughs> and also, it's the quickest way to get answers. Uh, I'm not really one to sit on my laurels and wait for a full moon or anything, you know. More of an action, kind of do things now sort of guy. Good way to get your mind off of things, too. What is there to lose now, anyway? <laughs> Humanity, Prince. There is always something to lose. You do not know true darkness until you have become Nothing but a beast. Then show me. Show me what it looks like. Then the unseen one we go. Do not blame me if you regret this. 
Um, okay. You guys going there? Yep. I believe so. Um, can I feed for him from the uh, woman that is? <laughs> <laughs> can you what? Can I feed from the woman that is? Uh, uh, yeah, she knocks on the door. <laughs> Hey, anyone in there? I open up. They should get uh, dazzled by my five appearance. Oh, hey, sexy ass. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> but first, breakfast. Um, and then I just... <laughs> oh, I actually didn't bring it. Um, yeah, and you just you take one through ten. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs> you, you could just, yeah. You just fade. You gotta That's be cool. prepared for the unseen yeah. one. All right, let's yeah. uh, let's get going to the unseen one. Um, all right, you guys walk by her. Anyone want a drink? <laughs> Dude, <don't. laughs> I'm I'm good. I'm full, actually. Yeah, no, I'm good. Okay. Oh my god, nice vampires are awesome. We just fucking <laughs> get fucked. Um, all right. Oh, let's you know, go. actually, you know, before uh, I will do something nice after I feed from this random lady, yeah. I'll talk her into bed and then we leave. Um, oh, thank you. <laughs> can't risk talk my her better own B&B. All right. You guys uh, make your way to I would. Uh, does it matter? Do you just walk? Um, what do you have to be scared I'd of? I'd like to take the bus. Yeah, we'll take yeah. we'll take bro fuck. We don't look like we can You take public transit and it's so fucking funny. <laughs> I'd like I'd like to let's, see the bus. Let's, uh, let's take public transit um because yeah. we look like we fucking I ask, look silly. I ask very awkwardly. Yeah, we, uh, like, we lost the the civvy, so uh I've got bus passes. I've always wanted to see a bus. Yeah. And they're really big. Well, you see, and we smash cut up to a bus. Smash cut up to a bus. You're like fully, you're fully like crammed in against all these people. There's just this, like, like throwing up in the corner. Someone barfing <laughs> in the corner. There's like a shit. There's like a big sports team for some reason. There's no game going on. There's just like a huge dude like that's grabbing onto a pole, but it's really far away from him. But it's like directly where you are, and he's just kind of like stretching over, like fully in your space. Oh, hey, there's a oh, the there's like a child running yet? around, just like kicking your leg. Oh, okay. There's just like. A um, kid running around just there's a dog. Dog starts like eating eating your shoe. We sit there in silence for a couple of seconds and I go This is pretty cool. I like what we're doing. <laughs> I was expecting him to say LA sucks. And then the bus moves by uh, and the scene transitions and you guys are standing in front. What do I know about this corporation? Nothing. Nothing, okay. You guys are standing in front. Is it front. tall? Is it like a tall building, like really big? Uh, yes it is. You guys are standing in front of Obscura Systems, mm. Inc. Pretty indescript, discreet, sort of silver building. Just looks pretty normal. Aside from that, uh, you see that its logo is almost like a lens and an eye combined. Sort of illuminated in this blue light as you guys step inside to this just gray marble interior with these big old pillars and what looks like a receptionist. Let me handle the receptionist. Why would you do that? Uh, I've done You're this. like the last person. I've done this all the time. Hi, Listen, how's it going? Brother. We're, uh, we're just looking for uh, the... Uh, uh, what's his name? Oh, do you have uh, an appointment with anyone here? I think it's the CEO. Yeah, I think he's like the top of, of Obscura. Uh, um, you know, uh, he's kind of big, big deal. No, nope, yeah. he's not. Uh, he's not in right now. Oh, it's, uh, is he pretty, not? Pretty late. Is there? Um, are you sure that's who you're looking for? Uh, you? Does anybody go by um, the unseen one by chance? Here? Um, as soon as you say that, you see a single tear falls down <laughs> from her eye, um, and her hand reaches down and hits a button and you just see as like the elevator, you see like what floor it's on, right? And it just gets close to you uh, and then just opens up and she just like stares like blankly ahead. Thanks. <laughs> I walk. God, I fucking hate talking to people. That sucked. Did she tell you anything? <laughs> no, we're just going into this elevator. She started crying. Uh, <laughs> can I read her aura? Uh, yeah, go for it. <laughs> Sorry, I don't want to keep breaking the pace of this, but it is one of my abilities and I enjoy it. I do want to walk by her, and if she's crying, I want to, like, take one of her tears onto my finger and look okay. at it yeah, for a while. Do. It's yeah, really weird and creepy and, like, something that not a normal person would do. <laughs> but I, like, look at it longingly, and I have a little blood tear that falls as well. That's cute. Yeah. I hope you guys liked my white person voice. <laughs> <laughs> Three successes. Three so successes. Oscillating patterns. I don't know what else to call it. Yeah. <laughs> and if she's pale, ghoulish, or human, or ghost. Or um, she is. She is human. Uh, you can see that it is orange, which means afraid. And you can see that when she watches you all walk into the elevator, it flickers uh, silver because you're gonna die. So the doors close, um, which oh, means sad. Fuck. She's sad that you're gonna yeah, die. Yeah, I can. I can read. I can read. The doors close and. Immediately, the light.
lights inside the elevator turn red and you all feel a sickening feeling as it begins to drop. <sighs> I'm hollow inside this, this film. This is just yeah. like the Hotel of Horror. You ever been to Disneyland? What is that? Oh, man. The two of you will um, take the lead. I do not have good luck with Nosferatu because of my appearance. <sighs> what are we asking? Uh, I'm looking for someone. Oh, the name used to be on, yeah. Could you write it down? I'll just pass a piece of paper. <laughs> Any details, anything you've got, just write it down. Yeah, rip a little page out of my small notebook. So do you think it's like bad etiquette to try to see the unseen one? Like, Just follow my lead. Okay, yeah, sure, you got this, man. The door opens at the bottom. Ding! He's and like doing his air drums. <laughs> As we go down, there is a corridor where these lights turn on. And at the end of it, you see that there is a frosted glass door with two metal sort of doorknobs on it. You see that there are two guards that are obviously Nosferatu. They look, you know, by all means, pretty hideous. One of them's kind of short and the other one's kind of tall and a bit bigger. All right. Yeah, it's um, really nice we could come down here without an appointment. You would see that Shiloh kind of stiffens up like a board and then puts his hands behind his back. I keep my sunglasses fully covering my eyes. Cool. Walk slowly. I walk looks, with Swigger. He looks to Arthur. Try and listen closely, see if you can count how many are in here. I do what the prince tells me. You try to listen to see how many are in here? I will heighten my hearing, but I will um, not heighten anything else hearing uh, and taste. Okay. Go ahead and give me perception plus alertness. Three, three successes. Three successes? So probably four. You hear just these Nosferatu kind of conversating over there um, very quietly. And further in, you hear what sounds like whirring, like hard drive whirring almost. You hear some beeping. No, 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 Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. You hear. No, 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 no. The robots. No, What sounds like the sound of someone. It's worse. Someone like playing with ground beef. It's worse. No. Um, just like. It's worse. Um, and then you hear. Arthur. From where? Inside. So faint. I actually stopped them. I have bad news. The unseen one is a redditor. Um. <laughs> <laughs> No. <laughs> Anyways, um, no, I do stop him. <laughs> Boys. You actually, when you say that, that he's a Redditor, you see that the Nosferatu look at each other and they, how do you know? <laughs> <laughs> Did we get a count, by the way? Anything? Um, how many? There might just be? these two and those sounds in the back. Okay. Um, of course, if you're listening, you would know that vampires don't have a heartbeat, anything like that, but... Do they breathe? No. Okay. That's the typical way you can discern if someone's mortal or vampire without aura is if they have a heartbeat or breathing. What do you guys do? I stop them first and then I whisper and I say, Boys, what's up? You need to be prepared to see things that are unseeable. I don't... I don't get it. How bad could it be? I guess you'll find out. No, I push them along. Okay, great. I'm cool as a cucumber. Awesome. You guys pushing up. Uh, you get on up to the door. Shiloh um, steps very slowly. Okay. And clicking the heels of his dress shoes yeah. along the floor. When you guys get to the final door, they both open it up. Yeah, I don't have to touch the door. I just and nod to them. Yep. One of them says, if it sees you. And the other one says, it will take you. So do I just close my eyes, or...? They don't say anything else. Okay. Would I know anything about this? No. So basically we just need to not get seen. Easy enough. You would see that Shiloh closes his eyes, and I would like to try and listen and kind of gauge where I'm walking. Okay. Go ahead and give me perception plus alertness. I'm going to stealth. I'll be... I'm, like, behind Yeah. Dex plus stealth, go ahead. I'm also kind of with the stealth... Give me Dexplo stealth as well. I don't stealth. I'm right there. All right. Three successes, two blunders. So one success. One well, success. I got three successes. Let's fucking go. All right. Um, and I would also like to try and be as 
cordial as possible. Uh, I'll be my guest, yeah. Shiloh, still with his hands behind his back, will walk forward slowly, listening for any kind of cues on what to do. Or hey, Arthur, you know how to like, deal with a bear, right? You know how it's like... I should be hidden. Am I hidden from him? Please be quiet. From him? Yeah. Uh, how many successes did you get on stealth? Three? How many did you get? One. One? Yeah, you both. Oh. Unless you're looking for each other, you Arthur's both gone. Okay. lose sight of each other. Hey, as, grab score. Yeah. <laughs> so you two see, uh, my prince, we're going to die. Um, <laughs> you see as this room opens up into what looks like a server room that never ends. You can't see the end of it from where you are. It's illuminated uh, in sort of these blue fluorescent flickering lights. And you see as the green, red, and blue LEDs of each kind of server box flicker as you creep sort of around them. There are all these different cubes. You do the same as well the other way. And Shiloh, you walk straight down. I'd actually like, can I hop on top of the server boxes? Or are they like attached to roof? You can hop on top of them. Wait, did you say if you see it or no, if, if it sees uh, oh you. jesus then i'm just doing the wrong thing no 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 i said if you see it oh yeah oh you did yes i did okay okay i because I, I thought so but i they, they both stealthed and i felt crazy okay i thought see i, I, I made said a if joke you see it yeah about the opposite thing yeah i like, know you did i mean it's funny if you think the opposite that is really funny. <sighs> That's really funny. That is really funny. Hey, I can... You hop on top. Times. Yeah, you hop on top of the thing. You see, as it looks like from deeper inside, there is like a pulsating red light uh, that is slightly moving around. And the server boxes deeper in look like they're shifting and almost like sort of slightly moving up and down to a rhythm. Oh, I don't like that. Is it worth making my eyes indiscernible completely? Like if someone can see them or not? Sure, if you think that matters. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. As I am walking, by I the way. I do something that's useless. It would almost be like I'm using my step to kind of gauge where the ground is. And if I don't feel I can step fully, I won't step. I'm, my main focus is to look as presentable as possible without tripping or Love showing it. any sign of Love weakness. Love it. How long do you want to walk for? Uh, until I... Feel I have reached anything. Okay. And you two, are you sticking with Shiloh or what are you doing? I'll stick with Shiloh. Okay. Following. I will I just feel like splitting up's a bad idea. Here. I still I still have my um heightened senses, except for my vision. I think I may close my eyes and rely on my hearing. Okay. Yeah, okay. I'm and gonna stick with Shiloh. I'm not gonna be on top of the server boxes, but I'm just gonna like hands around the back of the head, kinda casually strolling around. This place is kind of creepy, you know. Please. I'll keep my shoulder Amazing. on, my hand on on his shoulder. Right. I mean, what okay. are you? What am I supposed to be you doing? You must be very respectful. Right. Okay. In the of another. This is not our domain. So what do I do? Exactly. Stand up straight. Uh huh. You three keep walking, until the next time you turn around, Amazel, because you don't have your eyes closed, right? No. Next time you turn around, it looks the same as it did when you came in in the direction you came from, where it is so just like going up and down. As far as you can see, it's just these server boxes, um, not going up and down. No. You turn back around, you keep moving towards this red light, and eventually, Shiloh, you step into something wet. I would like tap it with my foot and then step back. Okay. What does it smell like with my heightened smell? Yeah, what does it look like with my <laughs> It's with, dark in here, with, right? With your sight, it is illuminated by these essentially server boxes. So now you're starting to lose this kind of fluorescent light, but these like LEDs and things still illuminate um, just very flashes of it. And this red light that's growing in the distance. The measle, you look down. Ew. And you see it looks like a chunk of flesh with like a CPU chip like embedded in it and these wires like frayed coming off of it. Oh my God. Yeah, hey guys, it's like, it's like, there's flesh on the ground. Amazing. Just... Close your eyes. What? Close your eyes. How, you how am I supposed to see yourself? where I, how am I supposed to see where I go? Put your hand on one of us. Uh, follow. Okay. I like close my eyes, but I keep one, like, it's it means a tiny bit you keep, <laughs> you keep one open. Prince. There is a reason this one is called the unseen one. I have a feeling. Just let him do whatever he wants. You you wouldn't know that my eyes like slightly open. It's slightly open. Just like slightly. I just say, uh, st I the right boys, both of you, stay focused. Okay. You yeah. have an eye slightly open. It's like 
you know, like it's fucking this, open. He can see. This is like what it looks like, right? Like like this. Okay. Doesn't matter. It's not yeah. about that. <laughs> you guys keep Don't walking. Don't do it. I want to see it. I want you to, to fucking. No, I really want to see. Yeah. I want you to die. A measle, <laughs> see how it goes. A measle you see as this place begins to be less of this like contained organized server room and more as these wires start like intersecting beneath them you find yourself almost having to like something if something like happens that truly truly shakes me then i will close my eyes fully okay but until then i'm totally gonna keep my eyes slightly open um yeah sure Uh yeah no you see these wires starting to look more and more just like a spider web almost and as you go in you see as like what you saw earlier that odd material starts to appear more and more on things until these server boxes you notice that you just were slowly becoming accustomed to it, but uh-huh. it's like they're all kind of breathing in unison. Like the floor and the space below it is almost like fleshy in a way, uh-huh. and you hear it just slowly inhaling and exhaling. Dude, and, <laughs> like this, uh, this will be the point where I close my eyes. Yeah, but, yeah. You and know. then behind you, you hear, "Oh, hey, bro!" <laughs> I close my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys hear that? No, boy. <laughs> Did we actually hear that? No. You didn't. I heard, I heard, I heard the, Theo, I checked him into rehab this morning. Why is he here? <laughs> no, seriously, guys. <laughs> Please. <laughs> why, why, why are you doing this to me? Are you gaslighting me? Yeah, That's really fucked up. You. you must stay focused. Please. Alright. You guys keep stepping forward it's getting harder with your eyes closed now just because you keep running into all these wires moving Move across as slowly as it takes slowly as it takes these odd wet sensations um no matter the fear you remain walking confidently uh, at one point all of you see as through your eyelids there's this like red light that like moves kind of back from the right to the left and just stops sort of in the middle almost like like you know when you can see the sun through your eyes when you close yeah. them before it keeps moving and is cut off by some sort of sharp shape as you keep moving do you guys do anything else i think we would probably stop i would like to I bump a measle ah. <laughs> say <laughs> Respectfully, we have come for the Unseen One. Do you accept us in your domain? You immediately uh, feel two arms wrap around you. And at first, it's frightening. And then, it's oddly comforting. I thought you'd never come back. Who the fuck is that? Tell me right now. Who the fuck is that? You'd recognize it. It's your mother's voice. You don't say anything? No. Shadow would freeze. (laughs) Completely. At least. Let me look at you. We come. With pure intentions looking only for answers. And what? Are you looking for? I seek knowledge. I'd like to know if my mother is alive. Queen of the Ventra. And my companions also have inquiries. You are always the best of us. Won't you, Shiloh? And you feel as something else wraps around you, your arms and your legs, and pulls you away from your companions. I'm completely at the mercy of this, totally letting okay. it happen. Cool, 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 cool. I, I feel him start to drift away. I feel him start to drift away. I open my eyes. Are you serious? Yeah. I would, I would, if I'm being pulled away, I would probably reassure you and say it is okay. Mmm. I already said it. <laughs> Shit. Are you serious? Because this could have, like, terrible consequences. If this is how I die, I'll be pretty pissed, but I open my eyes anyways. <sighs> okay. Dude. Well, didn't think this was going to happen so why, quick. Why, why, why? What, the opening the eye thing? Yep. Oh. That, I mean, didn't, uh, that didn't take much. I was going to do it too, maybe. So. Crap on the cracker. I'm going to need you two to leave the room. Okay. You open your eyes. 
halfway, my narrow, my narrow you eyes. Narrow your eyes. Behind the sunglasses. And you see that you guys are in this web of cable and flesh, mortal and vampire alike, and you see that there is something in front of you. It has these parts to it that you see ooze out and it looks like they connect to the data boards around you in the various server rooms and it stands at easily 12, 13 feet tall with these spindly legs that knob and gnarl that look like maybe they were once flesh and bone and now just hook into the rest of it and you see as this red light that is emanating from this center of it is just shining on Shiloh currently and there are these cables basically coming out and like wrapping uh, around him and uh, pulling him in and I'm gonna need you to are you trying to stealthily open your eyes yeah, I've been stealth the whole time, but I can re-roll if that's what it takes. You got three successes, right? I'm also stealthing behind the sunglasses. That's the point of the sunglasses. It is so that no vampire can see my eyes. I'm going to add one to the difficulty of this thing noticing. This is going to be fun. Arthur, you feel as this red light in a flash moves over to you and red consumes your vision and you feel a sharp pain in the back of your head. For the rest of this encounter, I want you to try to get them to open their eyes. What, do I have no defense against whatever just happened? Mm, No. Would a willpower help? No. You're counting on them now. Mm, Okay. You are the DM. Shiloh, this thing is still pulling you in. One open my eyes. Yeah. Shiloh, where are you going? Open your eyes, boys. I will be back. Don't. As soon as he says that, it means that don't listen. What? Whatever you do, whatever you do, keep your eyes closed, please. Where are you going, anyways? <laughs> I don't really feel like it's productive to go backwards. It means all. There's nothing that we would lie to. I will lose no more family today. Right. Don't listen to him. You fucking dick. <laughs> you fucking dick. What are you rolling for right now? What is he doing? I hate you. <laughs> I hate you, dude. <laughs> what did you do? I just rolled a 50 50 chance on who I listened to. What did you pick? Totally picked Arthur. What do you think he picked? He's did gonna you pick fucking Arthur? open his eyes. Do you open and your die. eyes? Do you open your eyes? <laughs> oh, I opened my eyes. Okay, Bizzle, I'm gonna need you to leave the room. <laughs> We are doing this for real, you fucking asshole. <sighs> okay. We're all in character. Do you try and open your eyes stealthily? It's probably like one eye. <laughs> okay. A measle? Yeah. The second you open your eyes. I knew this was some bullshit, man. <laughs> um, yeah, you see Shiloh being lifted into the air by these wires curled around his arms and legs, just like lifting him up towards this creature that you don't even get the chance to discern because as you look up towards the red light that is pulling him in, it flicks over towards you and you feel a sharp pain in the back of your head uh, as something physically pierces into your brain. Well, how many... Sorry, how many dots do you have in intelligence? <laughs> One. Uh, I have two. I think this makes the most sense. How many dots does he have? Hopefully more. <laughs> um, for the rest of this, uh-huh. guys, seriously, whatever angle you can do, try and get him to open his eyes. It's not going to okay. work, dude. He is like he is running off the knowledge of like no, he's, meta field, bro. Like, yeah. um, it's not going to happen. You hear sounds off to your right and left, and as this red light grows brighter, Shiloh, you hear. Hey Shiloh, man, I'd, I'd really look, I'd look at where you're. Go- it's gonna like eat you, man. Who are you going to trust, boy? I mean, I'm your brother, right? Like that's gotta mean something. Can I use my discipline in here? Which one? The one that creates darkness everywhere. Yes. It's one success, ten feet in diameter of darkness appears. Okay. The darkness appears. Absolutely. Oh Shiloh. Don't listen to them. 
Come closer. This place is fucking ugly. <laughs> Where the fuck is Grefmore? <laughs> That's such a good question. <laughs> From the top <laughs> rope, my friends. <laughs> <laughs> oh my fucking god. <laughs> yeah, you hear, no, you hear, <laughs> Arthur, drop the darkness. I want him to see me come from the top rope. <laughs> I can't do that, Grifko. I'm tr trying to save him, but he won't fucking listen. I'll defeat it from the top rope. There's, uh, I guess there's. That's so I can the sort high of use one. this as a top rope. That's a high one. Are you sure? I, you I, can... I just I just move the darkness to reveal the Shiloh for okay. Griff Moore. All right, watch me, my prince, from the top rope. No, <laughs> nothing. <laughs> oh man. Okay. You. uh... <laughs> Holy fuck! Holy fuck! Griff Moore killed it. <laughs> <laughs> I did it, my prince. It lies defeated. Just no. not phasing you. Okay. No. Cool. You keep getting pulled closer and closer and Prince, closer. I am looking at it. That is not your mother. It will be all right. Yes, don't listen to him, Shiloh. I super am your mother. <laughs> what? Come here, my boy. Then tell me what it is. Oh, yes. Just a little closer. Then I super will. A machine. Of both vampire and you. You have to look. No, I'm your mom, dog. Or it will take you. I have a pheasant with me. <laughs> come get my pheasant. Come, come get my pheasant. <laughs> that is, that is, wow. That Why is, would you listen to me, boy? I finally know what a pheasant is. You love pheasants. It will take you and control you. Where's the little one in my mouth? <laughs> Be my guest. I'm not responsible for you two anyways. Sometimes you gotta make mistakes, I guess, you know? We're leaving. Okay. And don't look back. What if I want to look... I am I just don't do well with authority, you That's know? It's not like he will anyways. God, you know what? If I die for this... Whatever. <laughs> At this fucking point. I'm, I'm gonna leave. Okay. Yeah, if we walk away. I'm gonna leave Shiloh. You hear them? Walk away. Last chance. What do you do? I'd like to be able to discern whether the Arthur I was hearing just now is fully the Arthur I know. Okay. And under no influence. Sure. Go ahead and give me... Um, I would say this would be intelligence and empathy. I'm going to use... Okay. A willpower. Yep. To get one success on this. Okay. Five total successes. Ooh. Not bad. <laughs> nice. The Arthur you are hearing, something was wrong. Something was wrong with the way he sounded. A measles no mother. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Is that true? Won't give you time to figure it out. You can do one thing. If he just said a lie, <laughs> that's like not fair. I'm not. I'm not weighing in on whatever that is. Okay. <laughs> so, okay. No, okay. No, no comment on that. <laughs> okay. I'll keep my eyes shut and I'll trust. And I'll go. All right. As you guys walk away, leaving Shiloh here, you can say one final thing. Yeah. Before he's gone. Well, I hope he'll be happy alone. Probably less painful this way. And you guys leave? Um. So describe how I die. Just let's hear it. I, like, whatever. I don't know. They put fucking electrodes in my brain. I get turned to soup. Put me in soup. I guess. Uh, Fuck me. Shiloh, um, even though your eyes are closed, you start to see a light that grows brighter and brighter and brighter until it's like your eyes aren't closed at all. Almost as if it's projecting on the back of your eyelids and you are in this just fully white space where the sky is almost as static and you see your mother in the distance just like clapping very slowly and then uh, you blink and she's right in front of you and she says 
You did it. All right. Are you who I believe you to be? The unseen one? Would be to see. I know that game, no. I'm good, I'm all right. I am what I am. Well. The figure kind of shifts. And you are what you are. Well, I... I am gracious to be in your presence. I am Prince Shiloh Bathroy of the Venture Clan. And without opening my eyes, I give a bow. Okay, cool. You bow. There is no need for that here, Prince. You have given me more courtesy already than most. I have great respect for your culture, and I wish to honor that in all of my actions. What what do you seek? I would like to know if my mother is alive. Crap, what did, what did the measle want? <laughs> <laughs> it's all on you, buddy. I would also like to know if the other boy who came with me is truly my brother. And lastly... Yep, that's my boy Amizel. Holy crap, they got Soda. <laughs> 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 they have this DLC downloaded too? <laughs> me in the break room. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, this is cool. And lastly, I would like... your help, if you would grant me it. Finding a woman with naturally red hair Would I know that? Crap, I wouldn't. Tell, I, would you have told me that? I said it out loud to the weekend. I, it, I was totally in the closet, like at the time. No, 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 that was outside of the motel. You were there. No, that was outside of the motel. You, you, you heard and it. You said, You're good. I'm afraid romance is out of my expertise. She is someone my friend is looking for. A specific person who wronged him a hundred years ago in London. Name? Holy crap. <laughs> oh no. Ah. This is when you take note. <laughs> uh oh. Ah. ah, crap. What is the name? What is the name? Oh my god, I'm really bad at this. Can you just like tell me really quickly? Can I? DM. You don't even have to. The the thing. They says. probably know just based off that. Yeah. The oh, thing the says. All right. Oh, I have the paper. Oh, I guess I did write a little note for him. You wrote the oh, note. I just didn't do it in the real life. Oh, cool. Wait, what was the little note? I it would have been all the details he had about the woman. Oh, sick. Um, yeah, absolutely. You have that, and you see this figure that is still shifting. I with... see this with my eyes closed. Yeah, that's all, freaky. All your eyes closed. All of your yeah, your all eyes of are fully my, closed. All, all of your of eyes. All, every single one of your eyes. And my holes. Hey, the only problem is you can't really read the note without opening your eyes. Well, no, I won't do nice, that. Nice, man. Want to read me that note real quick? <laughs> I just hold out the note and lean down. Worth a shot. Hand it up. No feed. Who are you thinking of her? And do you see as a picture starts to form in front of your face of a building? The building is called Riverside Senior Living. And the image kind of shifts in a crackling static to a woman with black hair but a description that matches otherwise. And you see she's in pretty plain clothes with a name tag and jeans, just helping someone down the hall. Um, what does the name tag say? The name tag says Vanya. Yes, thank you. It is very So, kind. what else will it be? Just the status of my mother and the confirmation <laughs> on my brother. Are you sure? There's no going back once you know these things. Could you just tell me? Do I want to know? That's for you to decide. But, I should warn you. The longer you stay in here, the more fucked your head gets, yo! Soda! <laughs> you see Soda just like flickers off into the distance and turns into Soda. Thank you for your time. 
If you would please grant my companions a pardon. They are not familiar with your ways and are great people. They played the game, my prince. But they lost. Is there anything I could offer you in return? A favor from a prince? I do like my favors, yo. But also I like knowledge. I can tell you about the pheasants. I know a great deal. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I hope that got Not picked Not to tell. Up. What to give. And then to keep. What knowledge do you seek from me? What of yours is most precious? If your memories are even real, dog. I think I would remember a moment with my mother standing, looking out at the area around the castle and her telling me it was all mine. All right. And feeling so powerful in that moment. That would be my strongest memory. It would bring many tears to his eyes. Very good. We deal in facts, but feelings the fleeting. We will treasure. And you feel as that kingdom you both look over starts to become more and more featureless. Um, almost like like a computer render. Just a smooth kind of ground. And for a fact, I can give them one more. It would just be a memory of me listening in on one of the council meetings talking about the territories. Okay. Giving them more insight on the Ventra. And their intentions. All right. This would be one memory for pardon. Very good. An excellent trade. Thanks for playing, yo. And go ahead, take away one dot in etiquette. All right. And one dot in leadership. Oh, crap. Oh. On the cracker. And. That's crazy. You. You can open your eyes now. I promise. I don't think I will. Well, thank you for your time and hospitality. Well, for real. The way it works is you gotta open your eyes now, yo. You got what you came for. <laughs> this is fucking. Like I really don't want to be taken this out like fucking... this. The whole thing. No, we already already took what we're going to take. Yes, don't you understand? Bra, 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 bra. I'm going to turn around and walk away. Just using all the sound effects we got in the library now. Turning around and walking away. <laughs> My favorite is, is he the back Taco on the Bell dong sound. <laughs> you you try to turn around and you feel like your body like doesn't even exist. Like you're just this presence behind the eyelids. You're not going to get me. I know what you're no, doing right no, now. No, for real, it's not even a bit. <laughs> Just do the roll again. Okay, I'll Please. do the roll. I'll do the roll. Literally, I'll do the roll. I'll okay. do the roll. Oh, but your eyes, your brain's gonna turn to slush. <laughs> <laughs> your brain's gonna be soda, yo. I'll use one more willpower. Soda melts in front of you. <laughs> that is three total success. What are you looking for here? Is this bullshit? No, it's real. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, say less. Bet, bro. And I open my motherfucking eyes and All right. I'm chilling. The last thing you see is your mom going, Bet. And you open your eyes uh, and just like that, all three of you are standing, looking at this sort of featureless gray building with these blue illuminated letters on it that say uh, Obscura Systems, Inc. I still stand very What do I, do, what do I remember? You never remember going inside. Neither do you. <laughs> okay, do so... Do I remember what happened inside? Nope. So I don't have anything to feel guilty about? Oh, sick, dude. All right. Are we still, like, here with the intention of going inside? Yeah. 
Okay, so, uh, <laughs> guys, I got this, okay? I'm good with receptionists. Her name is Vanya Hemlock. Mm, sorry? She's at the Riverside Senior Living. What? She now has black hair. And it seems she assists the elderly. Where do you get the powers of fucking foresight from, huh? We haven't even gone in yet, man. Shiloh, you would notice this, like... The way he just looked at Condi. You would notice, like, <laughs> blood trickling down almost from the back of their heads. I go over to the back of Emizel's head, and I take a little bit off. What happened, Prince? You both saw them. <sighs> so they took you. What do you mean? I saw the, I saw the unseen one. It is no matter. That's awesome. <laughs> it yes. is no matter. <laughs> Was I not supposed to? What happened, Prince? I guess he is like the unseen one. All that one matters for a is I've made the bargain, and you are here now. Okay, but like I still have questions, so should I go back in? <laughs> Here's the thing: is I totally forgot entirely what you were going to ask. <laughs> it's. I, uh, I mean, like what, it's. Can it's, you like say it again? Because it's I, like pretty multifaceted, I, honestly. You keep saying that, but like you never actually ask the question. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, touch the back of my head. Yep. And go. Feels wet. Vampires suck. <laughs> and that's where we're on the session. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, shit. Fuck yeah, dude. Oh, fuck yeah.